ladies and gentlemen, welcome, 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 welcome to Donna Just Being Real. My channel is all about dating, love, relationships, and toxic relationship advice channel. All right, so we're going to get back into ham huh? Yes, we are. And today we're going to be focusing on a few things. First, I'm going to show like three brief new cl news clips. And then after that, we're going to get right into DL's interview with the police. And this was right after the, the sister was missing. So we're going to watch that one. And it's very interesting. Okay, so what you do is make sure you hit the like button, share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section, and also subscribe to my com my channel if you're into my commentary, and feel free to check out some of my past commentary too. Okay, we're going to go from here. And I use trials, um, I do emanation, I do news clips and all this, all different kind of stuff. Basically, it's teaching tools to help people to date smart and not thirsty. All right, and I usually zoom in one of these trials, I zoom into the relationships. So that's why I focus a lot about the mother, the girlfriend, the grandmother, and ham hock. You know, the list goes on. All right, and you see so many red flags. And I will say it and say it again. This child wasn't put first and she wasn't protected. If she was put first as a child and she was protected, she would be alive right now. All right, we're going to get into this first clip. Check out this clip. Now, this one here, Rocky, I believe her name is, she sent this clip to me. Thank you for sending it to me. So, we're going to watch this clip here about the three, the fishermen. Now, these are the fishermen that discovered her body. Oh, boy, so sad, so sad. Don't forget, make sure you hit the like and share your thoughts and opinions. And shout out to the replay watchers, too, the same thing. Hit the like and share your thoughts. Let's get it. Several revelations in Scott County Court today in the trial of Henry Dinkins, accused of killing Briasia Terrell in 2020. Yeah, forensic anthropologists testified that Briasia had been shot at least three times. We also heard from the men who effectively ended the search for Briasia. TV6's Jenna Jackson was in court for us today, has the latest details on the case for us tonight. Jenna? Yeah, Redrick Paula, for the first time today, we heard from those three fishermen who found Briasia Terrell's remains. Brendan Rogi, Jesse Dow, and Eric Johnson decided to go fishing on March 22nd, 2021 at that pond near Kunau Implements, the one we have now become very familiar with. As they were walking towards the pond, Rogi says he noticed something white in a wooded area. He then realized it was a skull. Johnson, thinking it was fake, then picked up the skull to look at it. It's just not something that you see every day. So I picked it up and kind of just sat where I was and looked around and that's when we found the other remains. Once you picked up that skull, what did you determine? That it was real. Sergeant Jeffrey Pfeiffer then was called back on the stand to provide testimony about the day her remains were found. Now in court, they showed photos of the revolver found in the pond near where her remains were found. They also showed the bullets found with Briasia's remains, and they showed the shirt, shorts, bra, and slide that was found on or near Briasia's remains. Now Sergeant Pfeiffer noting there was some discoloration on the black shorts that he thought could potentially potentially be bleach stains. Of course, we've heard a lot about bleach during this case. He sent all of that to be off to off to the state crime lab to be tested. Now, the defense will start their cross examination of Sergeant Pfeiffer tomorrow morning, which will likely include questions on whether all of those items found at the remain site were tested for DNA evidence. All right, Jenna, thank you. Now, keeping Briasia's memorial well-maintained, a woman in DeWitt is dedicating herself to that very effort. Yeah, she thanks. Listen to this part. It's so touching. This woman has a beautiful heart, a beautiful heart. She would have called. She would have told Bree to come back in the house, and she would have called the cops. Mm-hmm. Can't say that about the girlfriend, can we? Resume. actually been visiting the memorial site to pull weeds and clean up the area. TV6's Larry Goodwin met with her earlier and has her story for us tonight. Larry. Thanks, Paul and Rudrick. Dawn Hemsoth lives in DeWitt. She said she drives by Briasia's memorial often and one day felt the need to stop and get the area cleaned up. Last week, she decided to do just that. Once I saw what needed to be done, and that's what needed to be done for, for me. I was, I was on a mission, I knew. A week's worth of work and improvements made to Briasia Terrell's memorial. 
Don Hempstott of DeWitt decided to tidy up the area, including bringing some personally made items to help brighten things around the site. I made the, oh, the colored flower pot, which will hold the flowers um, once I cut the rest of the flowers down. I made the purple cross. Her favorite color was purple. And I made the stones on the right-hand side to do a cutoff. Other than just a simple act of kindness, Dawn says her inspiration for helping out was personal. July 10th, when Briasia was reported missing, that is the date that my daughter passed away 27 years ago. And recently found out, um, besides them both being 10 and a half, they both, favorite color was purple. And both of their birthdays were in December. A good deed that was meant to be? Don Hempstott seems to think so. When I found out both their birthdays were in December, both uh, colors, favorite colors, purple, um, all those things fell into place, and it was just like, okay, I think this was meant for me to do this. Don says she hopes this will attract more people to visit, and that she will continue to keep Briasia's memorial looking nice. I just hope people will, you know, feel free to come out here and, you know, revisit her or visit her for the first time and, and leave something new. I, of course, will know when I come out, and I continue, um, we'll continue to keep cleaning Briasia's site up here. That lady has a beautiful heart. And Trina, welcome to the channel. I see you, Deb, and Melvia, and BG Mod on deck. And TV and Blessings, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have y'all here. Glad to have y'all here. All right, we're going to get into another clip, all right? Before we're going to get into the um, DL interview with the police, the next clip we're going to have, listen to the music while you wait. Let me set up the next clip. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this clip here, shout out to BG. Thank you for sending this to me. This is the clip. We're going to find out what this ham hock sister has to say about this. You know, I'm a little sick and tired of these people supporting these monsters, and I'm a little sick and tired of them being enablers. But hey, she can feel what she want to feel, right? Tell me what you think. All right, let's, let's get it. Let's hear what his sister has to say about this. And thanks for choosing Local 4 News at 10. We're now a week away from the trial for the man accused of kidnapping and killing Briasia Terrell. Tonight, Local 4 News brings you an exclusive sit-down interview with the suspect's sister. Nita McQuay never backed down from supporting Henry Dinkins the past three years. She says he didn't kill anyone. Local 4's Linda Cook has tonight's top story. I know that my brother is innocent. The sister of a man accused of a terrible crime maintains his innocence. 50-year-old Henry Dinkins faces charges of murder and kidnapping in the death of 10-year-old Briasia Terrell in 2020. Days before his trial is set to begin in Cedar Rapids, his sister, Nita McQuay, spoke exclusively to Local 4 News. I don't believe that my brother would commit such a crime like that. Um, I feel that only God knows and the parties that were there. McQuay speaks with her brother, who is incarcerated, about five days per week. Meanwhile, she and the rest of her family have struggled for about three years, ever since the day in July 2020 when Briasia disappeared. I have my good days and bad days, um, but long as I can talk to my brother and talk to my family, I'm just fine. It has been hard. Her faith has helped get her through the bad days. I believe in God. I believe in faith. I believe, um, I also believe in what's right. Meanwhile, she misses her brother, her only sibling. Me and my brother always been close. We did everything together. Henry's always been an awesome brother. Always been there for me. I've always been there for him. I just can't with these enablers. Love you too, BG, love you too. And Rihanna, 
I hope I say Brianna. Hope I'm saying it right. Brianna Sparks says, I feel like any decent person would call or tell the girl to come back inside. I truly feel like she had something to do with it or at least witnessed some type of foul play with her own eyes. Mm, got a point there, girl. Got a point. All right, and blessings to everybody who's coming in the chat. And I see you, 603. Blessings to everybody. Blessings to everybody. All right, let's get back to what the sister has to say. And shout out to BG. Thank you for sending this to me. We're like two peas in a pod. The case is so familiar to Scott County residents that a change of venue for the trial was made to Lynn County. McQuay asked people not to judge Dinkins until all the facts are in. Don't judge until facts are proven. No one's guilty until proven. Henry is not this monster that they portrayed him to be. Look at this low life. Just, just take a look at him. Let's let's get a bigger view of this. I can't, I can't stand him. Just look at him. Do that to that girl. We don't even know how many other uh little girls you might have. I don't think she's the first, and she definitely wasn't gonna be the last. Low life. Resume. He's not that. We all make mistakes in our life. And we all have done good, bad, and the ugly. This is Linda Cook, Local 4 News. Dinkins' trial begins next Tuesday in Lynn County. More than a hundred. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have another clip. Yes. I'm just showing these few clips to so get a little updated, you know, what's going on in this trial. Okay, the next clip I'm going to show you is the closing arguments. So enjoy the music while you wait. Give me just a second so I can set it up. And matter of fact, everybody who's in here, um, please let me know where you're from. What state you're from? You ain't got to go get detail. Just say what state you're from. I'm just curious. All right, let me look for this clip. gentlemen i got it all right now this is a clip um a little bit of, just a clip to let you know what happened in the closing arguments i believe that was monday so we're still waiting for the verdict i think that the reason why it's taking a little bit long because the judge the bench is making a decision to judge so maybe he has to do a whole lot of paperwork explain why he says guilty blah 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 you know when you have the jury the jury just, you know, they disappear for a couple hours and make a verdict, and all he has to do is the sentencing. So I think that's why it's taking a little bit longer. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not a judge. <laughs> just my thoughts and opinions. Don't forget, everybody, shout out where you're from. Let's get it. Closing arguments in the case of Henry Dinkins, the man accused of killing 10 year old Briasia Terrell back in 2020. During News 8 at 5, we've walked you through the state's closing argument. News 8's Nina Burns joins us live now in Davenport with more. Hello, Nina. Hi, Linda. And that's right. The state has spent this entire trial establishing that timeline. That is, Briasia and her brother spent the night with Dinkins at his then-girlfriend's apartment. Dinkins left twice, never bringing his phone and returning without Briasia Terrell. Right now at 6, we show you the defense's closing argument. Briasia was a truth teller. She was a child that would tell the truth no matter what. Um, and I think her grandmother's description was she described her as a tattletale. And the state asserts when you consider these circumstances and you consider the purchase of bleach and the use of. Ooh, Trina came in hard. She said, well, she, she can't talk to her child ever again like you can talk to your brother. Exactly. I'm so tired of these sociopaths, narcissists, toxic people. Always want to shift blame. Poor, poor them. Poor, poor them. It's all about them. This is a child we talking about. But hey, 
she's entitled to feel what she wants to feel for her brother, right? It is what it is. <laughs> Reason. Of which this child was sexually assaulted in this area. But then it became very clear to Mr. Jenkins that there was going to be no way for him to control this child. And so therefore, it forced him to take further action, which was the murdering of Reasia Troyal. The state concluding their closing argument. The defense who waived their right to an opening statement begins their closing argument by asking the judge to look him in the eyes. I asked you a couple of questions. Are you totally convinced that Henry Dinkins committed these crimes? Saying the state developed their theory too early in the case. The theory Henry Dinkins raped and killed Breasia Terrell, but never could find physical evidence to prove that. The young girl had supposedly been sexually assaulted. Hours after this man supposedly sprayed all down with cleaner bleach and killed all the DNA and got rid of any evidence, no odor of bleach was detected. She gets out of the car, and she's a tattletale and all, and she waits. She waits outside the car, if you believe the state, right? She waits her. I agree with you, Spirit. It makes my blood boil, too. Boil, boil, too. You know what I'm trying to say. See this, the type of crap that makes my blood boil. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, hey, I guess we can feel what we want to feel, right? Okay, Crystal says, 3.30 in the morning, that girl was standing at that car. Exactly, Crystal, I don't understand. The girl was standing there. This is what the girlfriend said, right? Why are you not, like, why are you not in my house? First of all, this child is in your home. You're held responsible. I'm responsible for the people, you know, the kids that's in my home. I make sure I take care of them. She didn't care. She didn't care. I'm sorry. That's just, these are my thoughts and opinions. And I see you one busy mama hugs and kisses to you, girl. It's ridiculous. All right, let's get back to it. Henry supposedly go, get, go in and get a gun, which we heard no evidence of anyone ever seeing him with a gun. Bleach does not destroy trace evidence. It destroys DNA. They brought in the FBI crime team, and they spent hours, hours, combing that RV. And what do we know they found in the RV? Nothing. They stripped him down naked. They swabbed his penis. They swabbed his hands. They went under his fingernails. And they found no DNA of Briasia Terrell. The defense went on to say that DL had many contradicting statements in his testimony, and the state cherry-picked what statements to listen to. They also said the prosecution's defense was based on nearly all circumstantial evidence. But the one thing the defense did not point out was the purchase of bleach. We all saw Henry Dinkins purchasing bleach at 7 in the morning, the morning of Briasia Terrell's disappearance, a factor the defense never explained why or even how. Back to you. All right, thank you. Good question. I know this defense didn't bring that up, did they? What's, what's, what's going on with the bleach? Mm -hmm. Very great question. Great question. Great question. All right, ladies, let me see what I have for y'all next. All righty. We're going to get into DL's interview. So enjoy the music while you wait. Just give me a second so I can set it up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the interview. 
Now, let me tell you, this interview was right after, you know, um, the little angel was missing. So, you see the mama there, you see DL there, and they're going to ask him some questions. So, let's just watch this interview. And, you know, you share your thoughts and opinions and make sure you hit the like. And also, if anybody will need to reach out to me, I forgot to say this earlier, feel free, look in the description and you will find my email address. And feel free to email me if you need coaching and dating, love, and relationships toxic relationship or you have a viewers request or you just need to talk to me about something on side feel free check my email there all right so let's get into it lady i hope everybody's having this was a blessed one and a good good one because this one's gonna be long so hang in there have your crunchy munch your cocktail your water whatever it is you get cozy let's watch this let's get it Find some friends? Yep. Can I sit over here for you? Yep. I like Mickey and Minnie. All right. So I know you've talked to a lot of people today, right? You remember talking to me earlier? Yeah. You remember what you told me? No. You don't remember what you told me? Okay. No. I always forget stuff. You always forget stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I think you can probably tell me some pretty important stuff. How do you spell your first name? D E T O R I O U S. Detorious? M O S L E Y. And when's your birthday, huh? October 28th. And you're going to be in third grade, just like my daughter, right? Yep. Yep. Just like my daughter. Turn her nine. Is Detorious? Your, is that how, am I saying it right? Detorious? Yeah. yeah. You know what? Or Dink. Or Dink? D-I-N-K. My daughter's name is Tori, so I like that. Detorious. All right. Okay, so I know that I talked to you earlier, and uh, Detective Overt also talked to you, okay? And I know that a lot's gone on uh, within the day, and we're just trying to get some details of this little brain, because I know this little brain is a good brain, okay? And I know it's a smart brain, all right? So, um, I know that your daddy picked you up last night, is that right? Yeah. Where'd he pick you up from? My nana. Your nana. She's watching my sister. There's from number one. Okay. And was he always just gonna pick only you up? Was that what he was originally gonna do? Just yeah. pick you up? Yeah. And then what happened when dad got there? He told me to brush my teeth, and then my sister came. He, she, he said she don't mind if he come. Did she want to go with him? Okay. And was Grandma there? Yep. What my time? nana told her don't go, and she went. Okay, so she wanted to go. So Grandma said don't go, and she went. Yep. And what did your dad say when Grandma said don't go? Well, all he said was come on. Let's go. He said, come on, let's go. And what, what, where did you sit in that car? Front seat. Front seat. Now, which car was he in? That black one. That really cool one with the um, line on the front? Yep. Okay. Uh, what kind of car is that? Camaro? Yeah. Okay. And did your brother, is it Cardell? Was he there? No. Mod on deck, Nikki. I just want to say greetings to um, people that's coming in here. Crystal Owens, hugs and kisses to you and blessings, blessings, and blessings also to him. And who else came up in here? And I see you, Pam. Hugs and kisses to you. Overthought, The Vault, and hugs and kisses to you too. And Lush, is that my saying right? Lachelle Hopper? Hope I'm saying it right. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry for butchering up your name. But welcome. Glad to have you. And 
Embrace Me Beauty. And welcome, glad to have you too. And if I miss anybody, I'm so, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Blessed to everybody that's coming in here. All right, and who else? All right, let me get back to it. Let's play it back here. And if you didn't, shout out where you're from. Shout out what state you're from. Let's get it. Did he want to go? Yeah. So was he there? No. When you, he wasn't there? When your, when your dad picked you up? Was he at my nana house? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he was at my nana house. Okay, so he was there when you got picked up, right? Yeah. And did he want to go too? Yeah, but my nana said. Hmm. Okay, did your daddy say no too? No. Your daddy did say no? My nana just said no, he just listened to my nana. Okay, did your did your dad say something to about he, there was no room in the car for you? Or is Terrell's brother um, talking after she uh, was uh, reported missing is key evidence in this case because he was there the whole time. So we're going to break in here and then we'll get you back into the courtroom and listen to more of what he has to say right after this. A victim with celebrity ties from Stormy Dan watching a video of. You see this black box right here? the missing little girl's brother. And this is right afterwards. He's got a Mickey and a Minnie Mouse uh, doll with him, and he's answering questions. Let's see what he says um, and how useful this will be for the case. Let's watch. So, okay, Dad so didn't want CJ coming. Nope. Okay. All right. So, CJ, that's Cardell. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. So... Cardell wanted to go, but there was but your daddy said he couldn't go because there's no room. Yeah. And your grandma also told him he couldn't go. Yep. And he listened to your grandma. Yep. Okay. But your sister did not listen to your grandma, right? Yep. All right. Do you know about what time that was? Was that before dinner, after dinner? It was after dinner. It was after dinner that. Well, no. Was it still late outside when you went? Yeah. Was, was mommy home from work yet? Yeah. Remember when you went with your daddy? No. Okay, so mom, what time did you get off work? I got off work at 5.04. Okay, so 5.04. So we know that you got picked up before then. Mom off. Um, did you, were, you, were you aware that he was being picked up by dad? Oh, yes, I was aware that he was getting picked up. But no one else? No one else. When did you find out that he was picked up? By when somebody? my mom had called and said, Henry said to make sure that you get the kids something to put on. And I'm like, oh, okay, so who else went with him? And she was like, oh, Bree went. Okay. I'm like, okay, so I just picked both of them from clothes off. And I'm like, you know, I need to break anyway. So I need okay. to pick up more hours. Okay. So when you, where'd you go right after Daddy picked you up? We went to go get him some cigarettes and then we went to his girlfriend's house. Okay, and the girlfriend is who? What's her name again? Is it Andrea? Yeah. That's her name. Had you ever met her before? Yeah. Okay, when's the last time you saw your dad, do you know? Before this day? At the store, bookshop. When was that? So just in passing, you've seen him? Like, he didn't take you or anything. You just seen him. Does he say hi when he sees you? No, he just gave me his eyes and can I get his number. Okay. Okay. So you don't see your dad on a regular basis? No. So were you super excited about going there today? Yep. Last night? I would be, too. Because he said he had an Xbox and a PS4. Heck, yeah. That's fun, isn't it? Yep. Right. I want to go, too. All right. So what did you guys do last night? Played again. Where were you playing? What was our plant? What game was our plant? Yeah. GTA. Is that Grand Theft Auto? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Number five? Yep. And where were you playing that at? In the living room. Okay. Who was in the living room with you? Andrea. Andrea, where was your daddy? In the room with Bree. Um, what was he doing in the room with Bree? What did I say again, Mom? Well, just think. Okay. Use your brain. What was he doing? 
Was he sleeping? No. Was the door open? Yeah. Door was open? Okay. Well, is there a game in there? Oh, yeah, I just forgot he was playing the game with me. He was what? Playing the game. What game? It's a jumping game. A jumping game? Okay. So he wasn't playing with you, he was playing with her? Yeah. Okay. Were you sad that he was playing with her and not you? Yeah. Okay, you were? Yep, I was mad. I you were mad. mad? Why were you mad? Because he didn't play the game with me. Okay. And so then, um, what'd you do after that? Jim? We ate dinner. What'd you have? Pizza rolls. Mm hmm A sandwich. Mm hmm What kind of sandwich? Ham. Ham sandwich? Was it like one someone made? Me and my sister made it. You and your sister made it? Okay. Mm -hmm. And did you all eat together or how did that go down? We had to eat in his living room because he don't have a table. He doesn't have a table, does he? No. So was everyone having dinner together or just you and your sister? We had me and my sister. Okay. Me and my sister had to sit in the living room. And then what were they doing? And they're living room talking and smoking. Okay, so they're talking and smoking while you're eating? Yep. Okay, and then what'd you do? We was playing the game for a little bit more, and then we went to bed. And when I woke up, I, I mean, I saw her feet kick me. Mm -hmm. And then I woke up, and then she was gone. Okay, when you say you saw her, were you in the same bed as your sister? Yeah. And was that the room with the air conditioner? Okay, and where was your daddy at? In the living room. And where was he at in the living room? On the air mattress. With who? His girlfriend. Okay. When you went to bed, your daddy was on the air mattress? Mm-hmm. And when I woke up, both of them was gone. Okay. So, let's talk about that. Was the door to your bedroom open or closed when you went to bed? Open. Open. Okay. And so, do you know about what time you went to bed? No. You don't know? Okay. Your sister was on the bed, though, right? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what she was wearing? A long white tee mm -hmm. and some black shorts. And some black shorts. Um, did you guys go to bed Go to bed at the same time? No. Who went to bed first? Me. I meant my sister. Your sister went to bed first? Yep. And what did you do? Playing the game for a little bit longer. Then I went to sleep. Okay. Uh, when you went to sleep, was your daddy asleep? Yeah, I heard him snoring. You could hear him snoring? Yep. Does Andrea snore? No. You don't? Oh, oh I hear. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so you could hear your daddy snore? Yep. Okay. He loud. He's loud? Okay. And then when you went to sleep, did you ever wake up in, at all in the middle of the night? Did you ever wake up to go potty or anything? Yeah. Did you do that last night? Okay. I turned on the light and then I saw Brie was gone. Okay, did you did you go looking for her? And then me and my when he got back. Uh -huh. Maybe he told me he was lost. Okay. Was lost. Okay, so when you woke up, was it light or dark outside? Morning. It was morning, so it was light up, up outside? Yep. Okay, so when you woke up, your daddy was gone. Was Andrea there? Hi, we need a commercial break. Uh, compelling. Listening to this little one recount what he remembers. We'll get a break in here and uh, lots ahead. Stay with us. Hi, we're visible. The wireless. And ready to go, and after the lunch break, we'll get you to that South Carolina sleepover at Dinkins' apartment. This is a bench trial, so no jury. Before the break, we were watching video of Briasia's brother, who was there, sleeping in the same bed as Briasia, and she, he is recounting what he remembers um, during that sleepover. Let's pick it up right where we left off. Anybody was? I asked her, ask her where they at. She said she don't know, but they, but they both left. She said they both left? 
Well, what did she mean by that? Or how did you interpret that? Or like, what what do you think she was talking about? He got in the car. She got in the car with him. That's what you. That's how you took it. She said they both left. You took it as they both got in a car together and left. Okay. Did she say that to you, or is that just what you thought? That's what you thought because they were both gone. Okay. I understand that. Did you ever see your sister leaving the bedroom? Ladies and gentlemen, it says I have 118 people in here. And I don't have that many likes. Let's get the math here. The math is 38 likes. Hit the like, hit the like, hit the like, and share me on your social media if you like. All right, let me read the poll real quick. All right, so far we got 51 votes. Do you feel that the girlfriend should be charged too? No way, Donna, 6%. Absolutely, 75%. And she was scared of ham hocks, so no, 20%. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to it. Hit the like, hit the like, like, like. You did? When was that? At nighttime. At nighttime? Were you in bed when you saw that? What did you see? I saw her walk downstairs with my dad. With your dad? And then he shut the door. Okay. Were you out of the bed? Or did you get up and... Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear how his voice cracked? He was crying. He seen her walk out. Did you hear that? Let, let, let's, let's rewind that just a bit, okay? Let's rewind it a bit. His voice was so sad. I oh, hope I'm rewinding not too far. But if I am, just hang in there with me, y'all. Let's get it. Were you in bed when you saw that? What did you see? I saw her walk downstairs with my dad. With your dad? And then he shut the door. Okay. Were you out of the bed? Or did you get up and watch them do that? Or how did that go down? Because from where that bed is, you can't see that. Or did you just see them leave and you heard it? Or how did that happen? I saw them leave. You saw them leave? What did you see? I saw them walk down the stairs. Okay. You and saw then I heard the door open. Because it'll make lots of noise. Okay. So you heard. So I'm just looking at it from this way. I'm going to draw. I'm not a very good drawer, okay? <laughs> at all. Like... All right, so the stairs are over here, and then, um, no, I'm not very good. These are the stairs. I'm going to do this. All right, and then, <laughs> I'm not very good at this. The stairs go all the way down here, okay? But up here, this is the windows, okay? And you don't, and there was an air mattress here. Right? That was in the living room. Yeah, that's in the living room. And then we have couches, um, a couch here, right? Yep. And then we also have a couch here. Here, right? Mm -hmm. Not very good at this. And then this is the kitchen area. I'm just going to draw like a kitchen table, even though this, there's no table in there. Right? And mm -hmm. then back here is the bedroom, right? Yep. Okay. And here's the door to the bedroom. Okay? So you can't really see the stairs, right? You can't, right? Where did you see your dad and sister in here? Walking down the stairs. From the bed, you can't see the stairs though, right? So you just knew they went down the stairs? I peeked. Oh, you gotta tell me that. What you peek? What you see? I saw my sister. Mm -hmm. They were walking down the stairs talking. Okay. And then they slammed the door. Then they slammed the door? Yep. Did you hear your sister say anything? No. Was your daddy saying anything? Yeah. What was he saying? He was just talking about cars. 
He was just talking about cars. How are you going to get more? Okay. Uh, was it dark out when you saw this or light out or something? Light. It was light out? Okay. Where was Andrea? Looking in the front window and looking in the back window. Okay. Because she was trying to find both of them. Okay. But when you when you saw them and that you peeked, was it still dark outside or light outside? Or it was light outside. Okay. Um, are you sure about that? Well, did you go back to bed? No. What did you do? I'm in the living room. She told me to go in the living room. Andrea told you to go into the living room. All right. So you're saying you woke up. Yeah. You said a couple things, and that's why I'm a little confused. You originally said you woke up and they were gone. And you told me that Andrea told you to go out to the living room at some point. All right. And you also told me that you woke up because you heard them and that you peeked and saw them go down and Andrea was sleeping, right? Yeah. Okay. So I need to know from your smart brain which way you remember it because it's a huge detail. It's a huge, and if it's light outside or if it's dark outside is a pretty big detail too. Because I know when Andrea told you to go to the air mattress, I know it was light outside, is that correct? Okay, because she said that too. Was she up or was she sleeping on that air mattress? When she you was up looking through back, back and front window for my mom. I met my dad and Bree. Okay. And you said it was dark out or light out. I said it was light. Overthoughts, you talking facts. Predators prey on single moms who they know needs a break. Mm -hmm. These type of monsters, they prey on, you know, these single mothers. You know, like, oh, I don't understand why the father's not involved. You know, I, I can do it. They play a little ball with the sons and talk to the daughters. That like they so helpful, but they just grooming and watching your children. Not saying all, oh, because there's some good men that come into your life. And they'll be a great, you know, stepfather, you know, to your, to your children. But you have to be careful who you let around your children. You really do. But so many people don't. You know, you got some of these women out here so thirsty to have a little wood next to them in that bed. A F boy. That they forget all about their children. They put this wood, this wood stick before their children. And that's a darn shame. Mm -hmm. I covered so many stories. You know, they, they let these losers move into their place. Taking care of them. He has a criminal record. He's known for beating on other women in the past, and they still want to be with them. I don't understand these women. Why you want to be with somebody like that? I don't get it. See, having low self-esteem and not loving yourself, it doesn't do them cause problems. Nothing. I don't get it. And as us as parents, we need to teach our kids and talk to them about dating smart and not thirsty. Help them to choose the right person to come in their life and also show by example. Yeah, uh-huh, example. I mean, we're not perfect as parents. And let, the, you know, let our children know we're not perfect. We make mistakes. But, you know, I'm teaching you so you won't follow the same steps that I did. But then you have some parents out here, they want them to follow the same steps because they don't want their child to have a better life than them. They actually jealous of their children. And it's really pathetic and sad. Especially if you have a narcissistic parent, sociopath parent. Yeah, uh-huh, you got problems. All right, let me know if anybody agree with me or disagree with me. Put in the chat. Resume. Light. Okay. When you say it was light, was it like, like when you're eating breakfast or like when it's... Um... How can I eat breakfast? He didn't let me. Okay. What I'm trying to say, though, is when you get up and you say it's light outside, is the sun just coming up or is the sun out? Out. Out. So when you peeked and you saw them leave, the sun was out. The sun was out. 
Okay, I get that. Um, so you think it was early in the morning? Yeah. Okay. I wonder what time the sun rose today. Me too. Hmm. I wonder if we can find that out. Hey, Suri, what time did the sun rise today? Let's see if it says anything. I don't know. I don't know how to use this watch. Sun. The sun? Sorry. One more time. Sunrise was at 5.38 today. 5.38 mm -hmm. today. So that is early. Yeah, it is. Sun rose. Okay, it was pretty bright when I left out. Although I keep forgetting, you're right. Most parents were needing a break during the COVID. That's right. Forgot about that. That was the peak of the COVID, wasn't it? Mm hmm. How did he think he was going to get away with this? How did he think he was going to get away with this? How did you. How does Ham Hawk think by pleading not guilty he had a chance? How did he think that, well, I'm going to take it to the judge. I want a bench. I want the judge to make the decision. You thought it was going to be any different? Such an idiot. And why did y'all women, what did y'all see in this idiot? With his I, ugly I looking know. gold teeth. Oh, hold on a second, Jack. Let me take you also. I want to make sure people hear you. That's my co-host, the real Jack Newtown. And what do you have to say? I don't know what these women see in, in Ham Hawk. I mean, what did he have any what did he have going? I mean, he's a registered XO. I mean, what what I mean do these women have low self esteem? I mean, what's their self esteem number? Negative seventy two? I mean there's plenty of men out there that are way better, way better than a uh, ham hawk with a side of hot grease and, and chitlins. I mean, the dude, how old is he? What, 50 something? I think he's 50, 51, 52. He looks like he's going on 71. Okay. Don't he look bad? Yeah, he man, he looks terrible. He looks awful. <laughs> I mean, look at his look look at the, look at the the tattered dreads or whatever hair you know it, it's tattered. I mean, it's not even properly kept up. It's just on kemp tattered. Uh, he got chitlin moles on the side of his face. I mean, he said he got gold teeth. Yep, look at him, look at him, look, 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 look at him chitlin' moles on the side of his face. And he think he fine, too. When he walking up in the court, he thought he was all that. Mm -hmm. Look at him chitlin' moles. You see them chitlin' moles dripping down his face? Look at this. And, and hey, yeah. another one. Them dark glasses. I don't, mm, that's a, to me. This is just me. I don't trust a lot of people with them dark glasses. You know them dark tint glasses? Those usually are creepy people. Just saying. I mean, he ain't wearing sunglasses. I can see he's wearing sunglasses, but you got top, you got prescription glasses with tint on it. I don't trust you. Can't tell him that he think he's the man. They usually be the weird ones. Yeah, you definitely gonna be the man ham hawking in prison. <laughs> think about it. Think about it. When he has those dark glasses. So he can see little girls and, and people won't really know he's looking at them. I wouldn't be surprised you got those type of creeps. Watch them. The ones that be in the playground. Ain't got no kids around them. Gel like, reading what? glasses. Don't some nice gel reading glasses because usually the reading, reading glasses in jail is standard. It's like a black black frame with clear lens. Mm. Mm -mm. All That's right. the gel glasses. <laughs> Yeah, um, Sewer Rat has those, right? We talking about Daryl Brooks. Yeah, he's Sewer Rat. He got those jail glasses. Oh, gosh. Okay, resume, ladies and gentlemen. Like seven, seven thirty, seven thirty. You told me he called you at 747. He called, yeah, he called me roughly around 747, but I was a mid getting dressed because I was like... Something's wrong with his phone. That's why he can't hear the call. Okay. 
So uh, the sun is up at 5.38 this morning, and that's where you peaked and you saw them, correct? So you don't know if your sister was there all night or not. Is that correct? Because you were sleeping up until you peeked and saw your dad going down the stairs with them and slamming the door and talking about cars. Cars. Okay. Which that excites the kids, because that's the reason why he likes to go over there in memory. Okay. So up until he that. Mama said that's what sight the kids. That's why they like to go over there. It's called grooming, Mom. Grooming. 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 Jeez, I don't get this. She thought She thought grooming was when he was just going to brush and comb their hair. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. I just don't get it. And this happens so often. It's not just this case. This happens so often. As we speaking right now, it could be happening with your next-door neighbors. Oh, let's resume. He did have some good snacks. He had some oh. peanut butter crunches in there. I was like wanting to get some because those are good. Did you look up there? I sure did. I looked everywhere. Nice snacks. Yeah, they do have a lot of he good snacks. She said, oh, they were the vanilla Oreos, weren't they? I saw those she on the ground. She likes them. She said, she said, well, Uncle Ice wants to try some nutty again because he had snacks. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, we got a guy here we call snacks because all he does is eat snacks all day long. We call him snacks. Isn't that funny? Is it him? Oh, me. No. Sometimes I can be called snacks, but I'm always eating too. Okay, so we know at 538 you saw at least, it was at least 538 because it was light. Okay, so once your daddy leaves with your sister, then what happens? Hmm? What happened after you peeked and saw them walking down the stairs and the door slamming? Andrea told me to go in the living room. Where was Andrea at? Looking back to the front window. So she was looking from each window? Yep. Okay, that's what she was doing? Yeah. Okay. You can ask her. You can ask her. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then what happened? Did you go to the living room? Did you did you yep. look back to bed? I went to the living room. Then I didn't go to bed. Okay, and what did you do? I pretend I was asleep. I was trying to turn on the TV. She told me to turn it off. Okay. And what was Andrea doing while that was going on? While you were pretending to sleep? She was on her phone after she was working. She was on her phone? Did your daddy have his phone? No. He it didn't. was dead. The phone was dead? So yeah. your daddy didn't have no phone at all? <laughs> and he left with your sister? Okay. And then what happened? And that's all. Did your daddy come back? Oh, yeah. And what happened when he came back? How was he acting? He was acting silly. What was he doing? He was just yelling. What was he yelling about? About his juice missing. About his juice missing? <laughs> Did he drink his juice? No. It was his orange juice. Okay. Then, um, what else was he talking about? Nothing else. Just his orange juice because he got mad. He was yelling at his girlfriend. What was he? He, what he was said, "Who stole my orange juice?" Okay. Was was she asking any questions to him? Did she ask him where she where he gone? The reason why she, he came in hollering about orange juice because he was trying to dis, to um this, like a form of gaslighting. He was trying to throw everybody off because he knew what he did was wrong. He wouldn't nobody ask no questions. So he was coming in with being intimidating, being angry. So it's like, woo, let's not ask him nothing because he's upset right now. It was just it was just all game. Who the heck could be complaining about orange juice? Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Let me let me do a little quick thing for you. Let me list off the people that are here. Uh blessings, Pam oh, Money, you, BG, Trainer, Reynolds, Overthought, The Vault XL, Deborina, Lachelle Hooper, Hopper. JJ, Embrace Beauty, Crystal Owens, Melvia Shepard, Jacqueline Howard, Pam Money, Nikki, Justice on the Run, Moderator, Corey Walters, Embrace Beauty, BG, Moderator, uh, I think Crystal, I think I mentioned her, Brianna Spikes, Spirit to Spirits, uh, Wichita 603, 
over thoughts. Um, of course, Melvia Shepard, Jacqueline Howard. Uh, let's scroll here in Nia Christian. Uh, let's see, Sari Latif. Um, uh, India, okay, we already mentioned that. My life in the chai, shy. Uh, let's see, Hopper. Okay, let's scroll. I'm scrolling down. Corey Walters, Nail GG, Jacqueline. Um, who else? Let me scroll down. Pink Love. I'm trying to sweet TKK. Um, let's see. Cookie B. Um, let's scroll down. Trains always. Um, let's continue on down. Uh, Sharice Slater. Uh, we'll scroll some more. Patty Patty 718. Face. Uh, let's scroll down. It's a lot here. <laughs> um, let's see. Anita Butts. Blessings to everybody. Shout out. Um, keep keeping the keeping it real. Uh Anita Burns made a donation. You are amazing. Um Ooh, let's scroll I didn't down. Get to her. Anita, thank you. Thank you for the blessings. Hugs and kisses. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh let's see. Of course, Melvia Shepherd. Rose Lewis. Who else is down here? Who else? Did I miss anybody? Rizzy Warry Warry One Hundred. Yolanda Fay. Oh, Jack, hold it just oh, a second. Let me oh. just read this comment real quick. Ham Hawk's long term, long time girlfriend, probably with Joe's a, a Brieza's mom. That's why she didn't care about the suspicious mo moments he was making with her young daughter. You never know. Go ahead, Jack. I'm sorry. Okay, Lisa, my dear vibrations. Um, okay, that's pretty much everybody here so far. If I miss you, I apologize. Just trying to run the names down. There's a lot of y'all up in here. We appreciate it. Uh, continue. If you haven't hit the like, hit the like, please. Share, please share. Um, if you want to contribute, you know, support, please do. Please do. All right, you can continue, Donna. No. Was he asking where Bree was at? No. Nothing. He wasn't thinking about that. No, I'm asking about Andrea. Was she asking any questions? She wasn't. Did you ask any questions? No. No? Okay. Um, so then what happened? Why didn't he feed you? Where'd you go? I had to go with my mom. Why is that? Because he said she, cussed, he, she was cussing him out. That's why he's. That's why he said I got to go back to my mom. Okay. Uh, what was he? What was mom cussing him out about? Had the nurse to have gold in his mouth during police body cam. Boy, bye. Want to be thug? Pedal makes my stomach turn. You so sure I was a green gold? Know, you know, right? sometimes I'm you know so you have that people. gold, and then it gets green after a while when you mm -hmm. don't clean it up, don't maintenance something, you know, because it, it, it's not like real, real, real gold. But you know, you got that green gold look, <laughs> and it looks it like it's turning that, that, that green looking tint on mm -hmm. there. Yeah, oh that's... my gosh, I can't. <laughs> Oh boy. All right, let's resume, ladies and gentlemen. Let's resume. I don't even know what happened on the phone. He's, when he got off the phone, all he said was your mom was cussing at me. Okay. Um, did he say anything about where your sister was? Did you ask him where my sister was? Uh, I know that who packed up the clothes? To take them over to my to take them over to my dad's house. Mm -hmm. No, no. To those clothes that your sister had, that you had, that your mom brought. Oh, my dad. Your dad. He packed them up. Mm -hmm. They gave them to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I would, take them home. so you could take them home. Okay. 
Was anyone asking where Bree was? No. Did your daddy drive you anywhere? He went a couple places. Let's talk about where your daddy went. Where did he go? Hold on, He went to go fishing with a couple people. He went fishing? Yeah. Okay. He went fishing? Uh-huh. Okay, we got uh, where was that? Renita Hunt just made it in. So I'm trying to get everybody's names. I apologize if I accidentally skipped over your name. All right. And he uh, went fishing last night. Yeah. We come no not in the last night. I'm sorry, this morning? Yeah. He went fishing? Were you there? Yeah, I was in the car. You were in the car? Which car were you in? That purple one. Purple one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So was this after you peeked and saw? Yeah. He went fishing. Who who did he go fishing with? Some six he said some six people. Six people. He saw that he actually, he gave them a hundred bucks. He gave hmm. Okay. Uh, let's get a break in here and get you back into the courtroom for more right after this. Stay with us. Tonight. Recordings just got better. Henry Dinkins continues in the state of Iowa. Dinkins is accused of first-degree murder and first-degree kidnapping and the death of 10-year-old Briasia Terrell. Let's go back into the courtroom now for more of that interview with Briasia's brother. We're going to pick it up right where we left off. He could go fishing with them. So he could go fishing with them? Where were you? In the car. I had to sit in the car by myself. You sat in the car? Did you see your dad get anything out of the car? He grabbed some, he's complained, he grabbed some bleach, and what I saw in his trunk, he pulled it out, it was a knife. He had some bleach? Mm -hmm. and, and a knife? Yeah, bleach and knife. What kind of knife? Uh, it's some big knife. So you saw him grab a bleach and knife out? Yeah. Where were you at when he was I was in, I was in. Oh, I was in the car. I know, but and where was we he? went to his house, when we went back to his house, so he forgot something. He went to his house to grab his big old knife, and then he put it in his trunk. Okay. So let me talk. It's what color? Red. It's purple. It's purple? Okay. Where did he grab that knife from? His trunk. His trunk? And then he washed it off. He washed off the what? The knife. Washed it off with what, though? Uh, some bleach and some, uh, a rag. He washed it off with a rag. With a rag? Where was the rag at? The car. In his car. Okay. Do you know where he, he went fishing this morning? Do you think you could take me that way? I don't remember that way. What if I drove you down It's that a way? long way. That's okay. I don't remember. I don't remember where he was at. Okay. So it's a place that he got stuck. He got stuck? His car He needed another push. Who helped push him? The six people that he asked, that he asked, that he went fishing with. So this morning, after your sister left, he came back and got you, and then he, he went fishing. Did you see his fishing poles? He didn't have any. He didn't have no fishing poles? He barred, he bite it for he can uh, fish with them. You, he what? He barred it for he can fish with them. He, so he had the fishing poles? He borrowed them from, yeah. borrowed fishing poles from other people? Did you actually see your dad with fishing poles? Or did he tell you he went fishing? He told me he went fishing. But he left you in the car? Yeah. Okay. And then you saw him with bleach and a knife? Yeah. Okay. Big knife. A big knife. And he cleaned it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. What did you ask him about that? No. Okay. Um let's talk about he went fishing. Um did he go did you see him go with people or did he just get out by himself? 
He got up by himself when he went down there. There was already six people down there. That's what he told you. Did you see those six people? You never saw anybody. He just told me there were six people down there. He told you there were six people down there. How long do you think you were in that car? Long. Huh? How long? I couldn't see the time. Okay. Did it feel like it felt like forever though? Oh, well, Paul After said for you, a second. Your daddy went fishing. Where did you go? He took me to my nana house. Uh, Tiny Nino Larea is in the building. Go ahead. And I want to say, Anita, thank you so much. Thank you for the channel blessing. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everybody for being here. Thank you for everybody for engaging and shouting out where you at. If you didn't shout out where you was at, shout it out now. Let me know where you at. And while we have this pause, let me read um, the poll. All right, we got A3 votes, right? I forgot how many votes was it before. But okay, right now it's A3 votes, and we have. Do you feel the girlfriend should be charged too? Hmm. 10% says, no way, Donna. 67% says, absolutely. 23% says, she was scared of ham hocks, so no. Hmm. All right, let's get back to it. Thank you again, Anita. I'm in. To go to her. To meet your mom? Yeah. Okay. By McDonald's in the parking lot. Okay. Um, have you ever been to that area where your daddy went fishing? No. You've never been there before? Do you know where your daddy has a trailer? Mm, is that the shop? I don't know. I'm just asking if you know any other place where your daddy lives. Do you think you would remember? He don't have a house. He only has a house with his girlfriend. Okay. Do you think that if I took you to an area, you might be able to say, yeah, I was down this way? Do you think you could do that? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. When you, when he got something out of the truck, what did you see everything he was getting? Also, some bleach and a big knife and, and a rag. What color was the rag? Purple. Purple? And the knife was purple. Was it in a it, was it in a case or no? It was not in a, in a case. It was not in a case. It was a knife. He just poured it out. How big was this when you tell it me? It was very big. Show me with your hands. Oh yeah. Bleach, fishing, he stays in the car. Uh, a lot of the facts we know about the case seem to be coming out through this little boy. Michael Jaffer's watching along with us. This is a bench trial. So a jury would have trouble parsing what the child is saying out. Um, how about a judge, though? How, how much credibility will a judge, do you think, give this youngster's recollection of events because frankly a lot of it does sort of fit into the state's theory but on the other hand every now and then he throws out a zinger that just doesn't seem to make any sense well i mean anytime your case relies on the testimony of a minor you kind of hold your breath and you because you don't know what what to expect but to answer your question it was a very intimate decision to waive the jury and ask for a bench trial. I've said on this show before that, you know, one of my first felony trials was a rape trial where I had a, a, a co-counsel who was a former retired judge. And he advised, I was a young kid at that point, he advised me, he said, we're gonna waive the jury on this one. Trust me, I debated it. I said, that's a terrible mistake. I was young, I'd been an attorney, I think for a couple of years. Uh, and it, it worked out, we got an acquittal. Uh, because that former judge saw the evidence, he saw the facts, he knew exactly how it would play out, and he told me, if it plays out this way, this judge is going to be better than a jury, and he was right. So to answer your question, 
the way this judge is going to look at it, I have to assume that the defense attorneys knew that this was going to come in. And they knew, they made the calculation that a, that a judge would be better for their client than the jury. Uh, so we still don't see the balance of it. The, the attorneys already have. Pause there for um, a second. But it's very, 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 very bad for the defense. Uh, the defense must have. All right. Uh, Cheryl's Nation is in the building. Uh, let's um, blessings gave ten dollars. Uh, Brianna Spikes gave dollar ninety nine. We appreciate all the support. Ooh. Chakra Khan is in shout the out to y'all. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to resume, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you, everybody, for sending the blessings. To know that this was going to come, they must have made the calculation that a jury, that a judge, will probably parse through it a little bit better than a jury. Mm -hmm. We know the lake where she was found. Melvi, a great point. COVID made a lot of people appreciate us teachers and other staff members, even though they treat us like high-paid babysitters. Woo! That is the truth. That is the truth. Reason. Breeze was about 30 minutes away from the apartment. And, the, the, you know, the kid says it's, it was a long drive. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to take it there because it was too long of a drive for him to remember. So that part of it fits. The um, I, I was told to stay in the car while he goes fishing, but he never saw him with a fishing rod and, and never saw those other six people that he was supposedly fishing with. I mean, the kid's telling... Um, a lot of it seems to really match up with the state's case. It does. It does. It's again, the the defense attorneys must have known that this was going to come. They must have predicted it. They must have seen it in grass for it and told their client, we're going to have to waive this jury because look, here, here's the thing, right? When, when you lose a case and you're a defendant, you spent the rest of your life stewing on your case and people tell you hey the only way you're going to get out of here is if you claim ineffective assistance of counsel well the first thing you're going to say is my lawyers advised me improperly by telling me to waive this jury it doesn't matter that i waived it i signed a disclaimer i did it based on their advice right and that's why i'm sitting here right rose and blessing and welcome to the channel rose lewis says they seen the nice cars, and thought he had money. Mm -hmm. All part of grooming. The cars. Because then he say, um, I think when he was on the stand, he said something about, or this time, I can't remember which one it was, but he said that um, how he was talking about cars. And didn't the grandmother say that he only comes around when he got a new girlfriend in the car? See what I'm talking about? You know, Ladies, we have to. You have to see the signs of these 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 predators are is a form of grooming. You have to see the signs. But so many women, they get so lonely and so depressed, de 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 um, desperate. Excuse me, desperate to have someone. They'll take anybody. Just as long as they got a man there, and they'll put that man before the kids. The kids wake up in the morning, Ma, where's the cereal? He done ate up all the cereal. What kind of crap is that? A true man is going to go out to the store. He, gonna, he ain't going to touch the kids' stuff. Are you kidding me? He's buying the stuff for the kids to make sure they have everything. Mm -hmm. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Resume. Right. So these attorneys would have sat down to their client's face and behind their client's back and thought, are we going to do this? We know the right way to do it, but we know that this is a big risk for us, but we know the evidence that's going to come in. And as you said, Ted, right, this kid's uh, uh, examination is falling right in line with the evidence around the case. Right. And the guy looks like a villain. Right. So this is not going well for the defense. But these attorneys, I'm looking at them in the courtroom, uh, you know, uh, not right now, but before, and they are very, very, very nervous and they are very focused uh, because their butts are on the line. 
they <laughs> XO, that's what he, the girlfriend said on the stand. He didn't have no job. So what is he doing? Why you got all these vehicles? Mm-hmm. Uh, we got uh, Corey Walters in the building. Lisa, my dear, made a uh, donation four ninety nine. Thank you. Uh, who else? Ooh, thank you for the blessing, Lisa, Lisa. Thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. Well, I, I think we're we're called up. They're going to have to explain to future clients why did they waive a jury in this case. They they have an answer. We just don't know what it is. Mm, yeah, good point. Let's get a break. Get you brought back to the courtroom for more right after this. Stay with us. Tonight on closing arguments, an alleged murder for hire plot in paradise. I'll bring you the latest. The boy appeared. Sleepover kidnapping murder trial in Iowa. Just moments ago, the police detective who interviewed Briasia Terrell's younger brother told the judge the boy appeared carefree during the interview and wanted to give Briasia a stuffed animal when she came home. She never came home. Of course, Henry Dinkins is accused of killing her. Back in 2020, after she came to his apartment for a sleepover, her body was found months later in a pond. Let's hear more testimony now from detective maureen hams and her interview it with Briage's brother right there looking on here shiro's nation bill king in the building okay and bleach what was the bleach it's in? in his it's in his trunk it's okay. it. The purple, the purple uh, trunk. In that car that he drove? The burgundy one. The Impala, remember? The Impala. He having it, he having it in that case. Blessings with another $5. Okay. Thank you. And was the bleach in a container or what? It was in a container. How could you, how'd you know it was bleach? You know about bleach? I know how it smell. Could you smell it? Yeah. Did he open it up there with you? Mm. No. How could you smell it? Or did you not smell it? I can't smell it because uh, he was down later and I smelt it. He was down? By the fishing. By the fishing? Was it by the river or by a creek? Water. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what telling the truth is, right? Yeah. What does that mean? I don't lie. I and mean, what does lie mean? You get in trouble? Yeah, so are you, are you telling us the truth? We're really trying to find you. Yeah, I'm not lying. Okay. I believe you. I believe you. So, after the sun rose this morning, your daddy took you fishing. He told you he was going fishing. And then after you saw him go down there, he said there were six people that helped him. He said something about $100. What happened with the $100? He paid for it. Who? My dad. Paid for what? The fishing pole. Did you ever see the fishing pole? Yeah. Where was that at? It was that down by a car place. Down by a car place. Did dad put the fishing pole in the car at all? Yeah, it was in his trunk. It's in his trunk too? Okay. All right, just hang tight, okay? Jay, I'm just waiting for it. I am dying to know, because this is different. I've never seen, a, um, you know, a trial with the, the judge just, you know, making a decision. Oh, I'm so looking forward for it. Might be tomorrow. Might not be. I don't know. This is different for me. Let's see what the judge make a decision. But we know it's going to be guilty. Because don't you remember when they tried to acquit, uh, try to get acquittal, the defense, and the judge was like, no, there's enough evidence. We don't need to go there. <laughs> Emma, you're done. <laughs> okay, resume. After you went there, your dad took you to Grandma's house. Pause there for right? a second. Where'd he go? 
Mid Clegg is in the building. Miss Toy is in the building. My mom took me to the uh, to the house. I'll keep this stuff. Up. You met mom at McDonald's, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Did your daddy call your mom while you were in the car? Yeah. What What did your daddy say to your mom? All he told my mom was meet her at McDonald's. Okay. Do you know what time that was, Aisha? Mm -hmm. Eight oh eight. It was at eight oh eight. What's the time the phone call? So eight oh eight. So probably around like 8.13 to 8.15 because that's a little distance from like checkers and um, McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Which McDonald's are we talking? And, uh, East Kimberly? Yeah, East Kimberly. All right, pause there All for right. a second. Is there anything else you remember? Yanni, Yanni. Mir is in the building. Uh, I guess, okay, I already said keep it in real. Okay, you go ahead. Just that? Just that. Um, but you think that you'd be able to say, yeah, it was down around this area where he was fishing. Was there roads down there? There was roads? Okay. All right, just hang tight, okay? Do you like those mini minis? I like them too. All right. Um, my, uh, my friend told me that she, um, I mean, my brother said that he had left my charger downstairs because like my phone had died and stuff. And I'm what like, kind of phone is that? It's an iPhone. Here, I have a plug, I'll plug it in. Okay. All right, okay. Okay. And, uh, I do have to lock the store back. Okay, come here. Show you a couple pictures, okay? Because they're of different types of knives, okay? Do any of these look like what you saw? It looked like it looked like this one, but this like but this down here was purple. It looked like this, but this was purple. Okay. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we are going to um, take you, mom, and you, and we're gonna drive down to some areas. Okay, and it's going to be us four. I'm going to put you in the front seat. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of that. What Rose says, he left his girlfriend's house to catch up with his son to make, to make he don't say what he saw because he saw everything. That's why testified the way he did. There was some little lies. Hmm, interesting. All right, um, I'm going to show another thing. Now, what we're going to show is we're going to get into day five. I meant to show this yesterday, and I didn't show it. I forgot to. And we're going to watch the photos of the place. So we're going to watch a little bit of that one, okay, ladies and gentlemen? All right, um, just give me a second. It's going to be solid for a second. Just give me a second so I can set it up. All right, everyone, if you haven't hit the likes, please hit the likes. We got uh, 136 watching, so we got 58. So please, 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 just it takes a split second to just hit that thumbs up. Please hit the likes. Please hit the likes. Please share. Please engage into the chat. We appreciate everyone coming in, staying in here. Uh, chatting, listening, uh, expressing their thoughts and views and opinions. Uh, as long as you can chat whatever you want, as long as you don't use language because it will block uh, expletives. So, you know, just kind of be be mindful of what you write. So, um, hope everyone is enjoying this while Donna's getting the content. Um, again, 
If you haven't hit the like, please hit the likes. And if you can share, please share. And if you can support, please support. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Jack. Now we're getting into this lady right here. She's the one who took pictures of the crime scene. Well, the the apartment. So we get to see the apartment. We all saw the body cam. So we get to see the apartment with brighter lights when they're taking pictures. And my thing is, and people's watching replay, let me know. That's a small apartment, right? The girlfriend had to see everything. I'm sorry. You had to see and hear everything. And even the, the, the DL said that he was staring at her, at Brie, and in the room. She had to see all of this and know that was something was up. These are all my thoughts and opinions. That's all I have to say. You share yours. Resume. C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E-B-A-K-E-R. And how are you currently employed? I'm a real estate agent, and I'm a transaction coordinator with a law firm. Now, back in July of 2020, how were you employed at that time? I was a civilian crime scene technician for the Davenport Police Department. And back in July of 2020, did you have a different last name? Yes, I did. What was your last name at that time? Stobaugh, spelled S-T-O. All right, we got some new people up in here. What were your duties as a civilian crime scene? We got uh, Alexis G in the building. We got Julie Porter in the building. Teen Tech with the Davenport Police Department. I responded to various crime scenes and I was the one that would take the photos and collect evidence. And then we also processed evidence back in the lab. Can you describe your educational background and any training that you would have received for that position? Yes, I graduated from the University of Wisconsin All right. with a bachelor's we... degree in forensic investigation and a minor in criminal justice. And then I. All right, we got nurse chocolate in the building. Blessings. And what now, did you say? I I just thought of something. They usually conduct f forensic interviews with children without a parent or guardian present. Oh, that's interesting, LGG. Hmm. Hmm. Moved to California for my first job where I was a forensic services technician with the Westminster Police Department. And then I moved to Houston about a year later. I was with the Houston Forensic Science Center for three and a half years, where I primarily worked major crime scenes. And then I moved back home to Iowa to work with the Davenport Police Department and do the crime scene technician work. How long in total were you employed with the Davenport Police Department? Three years. And did you work as a civilian crime scene tech that entire time? Yes. Uh, Ms. Baker, when you were dispatched to a potential crime scene, did you follow a general process uh, to document or collect evidence? Yes. Can you explain what that process would be? So I will show up to a scene and I'll be briefed generally on why I'm there. And then I gen usually do an initial walkthrough and then I will start taking photographs and placing evidence markers, searching the scene. And All right. We, um, we got When you the, say you do a kind of general walkthrough, what's the point of that? We got the Nithia Jones in the building. So I can get a feel of what we're looking at initially. Um, so the initial scene when I arrive, so nothing has been from me first being there, my first photos that I take will be what I see when I get there. And when you start taking those overall photographs, do you follow again a general process for that? Yes. And what's that process? I mostly just try to walk someone through whatever scene I'm at. 
So if it's outside, inside, I try to walk them through with my photos what the area looks like. And generally speaking, then, it, do you start sort of broadly with your photographs? And then if there are items of interest um, that you want to document further, you then would take closer photographs of those items um, up until that point where then that item would be collected. Yes. Now, back on July 10th of 2020, uh, were you dispatched to 2744 53rd Street, apartment number eight in Davenport, Iowa? Yes. Why were you dispatched to that apartment? I was told that a girl was missing. Once you arrived at that location, uh, were you again generally briefed on the situation? Yes. And was that information provided to you that you then utilized in your process of documenting um, that scene? Yes. What information was shared for, to you when you first arrived? So when we get information initially, we want it to be very broad. So I knew um, there was a girl that was about 10 years old that had last been seen in the early morning hours. And that's pretty much what I had to operate on. And did you know why apartment number eight, why that was the apartment you were being requested to take photographs of? That's where she was last seen. Now, when you first arrived at that apartment, uh, what was your understanding of kind of law enforcement involvement at that point? We were, I know detectives were questioning people, trying to figure out, was there anywhere she would have gone? Uh, we were just operating as if we were looking for a 10 year old girl. Had any searches been done by law enforcement of that apartment prior to your arrival? I don't know. While you were on scene, did officers then begin to search more thoroughly that apartment? Yes. But prior to any of that searching, would you have gone through it and documented things as, as you first saw them? Yes. May I approach your honor? You may. Handing this to Mark at State's Exhibit 5-1-597. Do you recognize these exhibits? Yes. And what are State's Exhibit 5-1-597? Various photos I took at the crime scene. And were these photos taken on July 10th, 2020? Yes. And do they fairly and accurately depict um, both overall flight photos and then items that you found specific in specific locations at all? Yes. At this time, Your Honor, the state would offer Exhibit 51397 into evidence. No objection. Those exhibits will be admitted. Uh, and may the state publish some of these now? You may. Thank you. Okay, they can ready to show pictures of her home. Showing you first what's been labeled as 5-1, kind of walk us through what we're looking here. Now, while I'm stressing showing this, I want you to really see how the home set up. You're going to tell me that this heifer, yeah, I'm going to call her heifer, the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You're going to tell me that this heifer did not see that her man was lusting for this little girl. She did not realize that her man got out of that air mattress and you didn't French. You didn't see how he was in the room 
what DL said, how he was in the room with the little girl. That ain't even your daughter. Why are you not over there in the living room with your son playing games? I'm just saying. You share your thoughts. And if we play watch and share your thoughts too. Let me know. What do you think? Reason. In this photograph. That is the front door to the apartment. And then in 5-2, see that the door has been open. What do we look at here? That's the entryway and the stairway leading up to the main area of the apartment. So this is 5-3. As you walk up the stairs um, and sort of turn, would this be the view then at that point in time? Yes, at the top of the landing at the stairs. So what's being depicted then in State's Exhibit 5-3? The living room and part of the kitchen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you see the living room. So that white part, oh gosh, helpful. This white part, you coming up the stairs. So once you come up the stairs, I hope you all can see my um cursor if you can. You come up the stairs, bam, you hit the living room. There go the kitchen. Then the bedroom is right here. You'll see in the pictures. So if they over here on this this air mattress, honey, you see everything your man's doing. You've been with him for six years. You know your man. If you don't, well, that's kind of pathetic. So, let's resume. And do you recall the living room there? There's a window. Does that window face east towards Costco? Yes. States Exhibit 5-4. What's being shown here? In overall of the kitchen. Then States Exhibit 5, 5, what's being shown here? The kitchen is now to my right, and I'm facing into the living room. And does there appear to be an air mattress on the floor of that living room? Yes. States Exhibit 5-8. Where was this photograph taken? I am standing on the other side of the living room facing back toward the stairs where I was standing in the previous photo. So States Exhibit 5-9. Again, what is being shown here? I'm standing in the same spot. I'm facing towards the kitchen. And there's a door that appears to be open in that, uh, in the back of this photograph. What room is that? That's the bedroom. This is State's Exhibit 512. Uh, what's being depicted here? The living room going into the kitchen. Now, I want to draw your attention specifically to what appears to be a stack of plastic water bottles right by the door to the bedroom. Uh, do you observe that? Yes. Again, was that how you found that particular area when you're taking photographs? Yes. There's no bottle of bleach or Clorox that was present on top of the bottles at that time? No. Now, this, this is exhibit 515. Uh, where are we now in the apartment? I'm standing in the doorway of the bedroom. And what all can you observe from this angle of the photograph? You see the bed, a closet door, and then some electronics on the right-hand side. Now, do you recall if this bedroom had more than one closet? Yes, it did. Do you know which closet's being depicted in this photograph? The north closet. This is State's Exhibit 516. Uh, what's being shown here? I have kind of turned in the bedroom, so now I'm facing kind of southwest, so that's the south closet door. 
And to the left portion of this photograph, there appears to be another door that's open. Do you recall what that um, room would be? That led into the, the bathroom. You see how the bathroom is in the bedroom. So you have to go through the bedroom. I'll tell you, this this girlfriend, she is something else. But you know what? Even though no charge was said, she's not in, in jail, nothing, doing no time. But her life is nothing but heck. Because you think now people's not watching us on social media and know who the heck she is. Oh, she's having a hard time wherever she go. See, ladies, be careful the man that you choose. Resume. States Exhibit 517. What is this here? I'm standing next to the north closet facing back, kind of out towards the other side of the bedroom. And does there appear to be a computer monitor or workstation set up there in the corner of that bedroom? Yes. States Exhibit 518. This is just another angle showing the entrance to the bathroom. Yes. Uh, does it appear, or do, from your own memory, was the only way to enter the bathroom to walk through this bedroom? Yes. Now, at some point, did you begin documenting the closets in that bedroom as well? Yes. Showing you State's Exhibit 523. Uh, do you recall which closet this photograph would have been taken of? That's the North Closet. And State's Exhibit 524, more of the North Closet. Correct. And State's Exhibit 525. Now, when you look at the closets, they're not really, you know, full. It's not hard to get through. So you can see what your man was pulling out that darn closet. Or even if you didn't see it, but you can go back because you know where your man hide the guns, right? And you'll look. How he just running here now so the gun is gone. Mm-hmm. Girlfriend, I'm, no, I, I'm not trying to hear it. Uh -huh. Let me know. Do y'all y'all get what I'm saying? Um, Shakara. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but butchering your name. I don't understand how it was during the the height of the pandemic and Bree's mama was trying to pick up all these hours at her job. Like that wasn't on a like it wasn't on a lockdown. Am I missing something? Mm, good point, girl. Good point. All right, we got um let's roll down. We got anonymous YouTube YouTuber. New you tuber tuber and in the building and we have elise johnson in the building again just more of the north closet yes um were you provided any information about whose closet or who primarily used this closet in that bedroom no one told me no uh, did it appear to have mostly clothing a male would wear? Yes. I meant to show that clip on Volt, but he also, I read that Henry tried to get another attorney last year, but was denied. He wanted to be, to be a player so bad. <laughs> and also... You said Telly Tubby. I'm done. She called him Telly Tubby. He do yeah. really like Tubby. Uh, All right. We but got Limo Six Blocker in the building. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody. And if you're just coming in here, shout out where you're from. You don't have to get in detail. Just shout out the state that you're from. And also, he actually wanted to represent his own self. <laughs> but that judge was like, no, it's not happening. Reason.
and this is state 527. Would this be the south closet then? Yes. And 528. Is this when you just all right? Off? We got yes, holla a player though in the building. Holla at a player though is in the building. We got Tanya B in the building. We got my Michelle G B in the building. I guess my Michelle Great Britain is in the building. We got Tanya B in the building. Showing you then states exhibit. Five thirty-two. What's being shown in this photograph here? That is some clothing that was laid out on the bed. And was that clothing already on the bed when you first walked into the bedroom? I believe it was bundled up on the corner of the bed. Now, did you document this clothing further, including the sizes and that type of thing? I believe so, yes. And did they all appear to be adult-sized clothing? Yes. What did Bill say? Except the child molesting, he reminds me of my oldest nephew. Big, fat, lazy, only cared about eating, playing video games, and eating up the younger nephew's food. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Bill, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Reason. Showing you then states 534. Uh, one thing I would like to just point out is obviously some of the earlier pictures of the bed, the bed appeared to be made. Is that fair to say? Yes. Now in states exhibit 534, the bed does not appear to be made anymore. What was happening as you're taking these photographs? Detectives had started searching the scene. So then in states exhibit 534, what were you capturing in this photo? I was taking kind of a mid-range or intermediate photo of, you can see the gloves on the floor and then a pistol under the bed. Then States Exhibit 535. Why does they have a pistol and all these guns around and you got kids in the house? And yeah, he's an RSO. Mm -hmm. And they didn't <laughs> register in Iowa, so. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm just trying to understand. You see these guns, right, Jack? You see them? You see them? Yeah, uh, Jenny, Jenny Mimi is in the building. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. A close-up of those latex gloves? Yes. And then States Exhibit 536, what's being shown here? A close-up of how the pistol was situated under the bed, or under the mattress. Maybe better do that. Now, do you recall if there were other items located underneath the mattress in this residence? Yes, there was. Showing you States Exhibit 537. What are we being shown here? I We've lifted up the mattress, and those items were sitting like that underneath the mattress. And what are these items? There's the pistol that I was taking photos of before, and then a small, looks like a kitchen knife, and then a larger machete-type knife. States Exhibit 539. Uh, is this that same machete we just saw in the last photo just taken out of the sheet? Yes.
Does everybody see all this stuff that he has around children? Wow. Ladies, got to make better choices than the men that you want to date. Mm-hmm. Reason. States Exhibit 542. Uh, where was this photo taken? This, I believe, was right outside the bedroom. And or in a closet. In the south closet. Closet, yeah. Uh, can you can sort of see the bed still on the left hand side of the photo? Yes. Melvia said they think they had they had a baller. He has drugs, car, and clout in the hood. And you're right, Melvia. Some women think that's that's like they hit jackpot to have a dude like him. Ooh, ooh, let me just give you all something. Somebody um left a message. I don't know how true it is or whatever, because I didn't do my research or look it up, but find out that um Hamhawk is still married. Hmm. Don't you remember when the mother was on the stand and she said something about him being married? Mm -hmm. Let's remember. All I wonder who married that guy. I like to see that person. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Who was she and why? And I think she, she must I'm be blind, deaf, and mentally challenged. Yeah, she got something going on with her. Because he can't pull no classy lady. It's just not happening. But, um, yeah, so don't you remember what they were talking about in the um when the mother was on there, right? And she was talking, she said something about Mary. And I think the way they was talking with the time, I could be wrong, ladies and gentlemen, so don't hold me to it. These are my thoughts and opinions, okay? But I think when uh um the mother was messing with him when she was 18, and he was like what late 30s, 40s, or whatever, he was already married. Mm -hmm. Cause didn't she say something about Oh, yeah, it was kind of cool because he was right around the corner. So you mess with some woman's husband that was right. This, let me tell you, this whole thing is a hot, stinking mess. All of it. All of it. It's just insane. All right, let's resume. And if anybody wants to see the interrogation after this, I'll play the interrogation. Put in the chat box and let me know if you're interested in watching interrogation after these photos. Let me know. What were you capturing here? The items on the floor and then another machete type knife in a sheath. Showing you States Exhibit 550. What appears to be in this photograph? Uh, it's a close up of the pistol that was under the mattress. In five, what are we being shown here? I have removed the magazine from the pistol and then the cartridge at the top of the photo was the one in the chamber of the firearm. Okay, girlfriend and ham hock. So y'all had the children sleeping over a pistol? Mm-hmm. Are y'all catching this? Are y'all following me on this? This is insane. Reason. Then 5.53... Again, is that a close-up of that same chamber that was removed from the firearm? Yes. And then what is also being depicted in this photograph? The magazine that was in the pistol with a cartridge um, loaded into it. And do you recall how many cartridges were in that magazine? Just the one. Showing you the state's exhibit 555, what's being depicted here? 
a close up of the head stamp on the cartridge from the chamber. And are you able to just read any of the markers on that particular cartridge? It's an RP nine millimeter Luger. And is that just a type of ammunition? Yes. This is States Exhibit 560. What are we looking at here? It's an Iowa identification card for Henry Dinkins. And that was located as well during the search? Yes. Now going back to the search of that South Closet, this is States Exhibit 562. Uh, what were you photographing here? An intermediate or mid-range photo of a box of ammo in that bag. This is State's Exhibit 563. Is this a close-up of that same ammunition box of ammunition? Yes. State's Exhibit 564. Again, what was being photographed here? That's the side of the box showing what caliber the ammunition was. And the Pierce V9 millimeter Luger? Yes. And then in States Exhibit 565, uh, what's being shown here? That's all the ammo that was in the box. Um, one of the bullets appears to be flipped. Do you know who did that? Yes, I did that to show the top of that ammunition. Uh, and so with the finding of this particular box of ammunition, you note that there are two bullets that appear to be missing from this box? Yes. Yeah, there were two bullets found, one inside the chamber of that gun and one in the magazine, correct? Correct. Um, did those bullets appear consistent with the bullets in this box? Yes. Showing you States Exhibit 567, what are we being shown here? A pair of pink sunglasses that was sitting on top of that half wall in between the kitchen and living room. And what was the purpose of photographing these sunglasses? They appeared to belong to a, a girl. Were they smaller in size? Yes. Yes. Then back to that south closet in the bedroom, States Exhibit 568. What's being photographed here? An intermediate photo um, of what I believe was an airsoft gun in the shoebox. Again, this is 569. What's being shown here? A closer photo of that same airsoft gun. States Exhibit 571. What's in this photograph? A box of SCCY ammunition. And in the prior photograph of the airsoft gun, States 569, was that airsoft gun on top of this box? Yes. States Exhibit 573, what's in this exhibit? That's the interior of that box. I misspoke, it wasn't an ammunition box, it was a gun box. And what appears to be inside that box? A plastic bag containing a couple base plates, an empty magazine, and um, a couple keys. This is States Exhibit 574. What are we being shown here? 
an intermediate photo of that desk area in the bedroom with some electronics on it. And does there appear to be a, a cell phone plugged in in this photograph? Yes. And then States Exhibit 577, what's being shown here? It's in the living room. You're, I, we just opened that closet to see, you can see the water heater or whatever's in there. And was there anything of any value found in that utility closet? I don't believe so. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. I don't think it's going to happen because the reason why I think it's not going to happen because when the defense wanted to acquittal, um, the judge, he listened to what the defense had to say. He listened to what the prosecution had to say. And at the end, he says, no, there's, a, if, there's enough evidence here. There's no need. So that lets me know right there, Nikki, that the judge is like, uh-uh, he's done. Because when, the, when those, um, how you could say what I would say is when that guy testified, well, he didn't really testify. He just did a video because he passed away. God rest his soul. Um, he said he helped this this guy out of a ditch, and that was in that area. You know, and there's a couple other things that put him there. And then the ping towers and all this at different locations. And he was the last one with him. So, nah, he ain't getting off. Nope, 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 nope. Let let's just let's just let's just play the devil's advocate. Let's just hypothetically say he did get off. They can all they gotta do is revise that CP case because that CP did did it get did it get dropped with or without prejudice. They can just turn around and bring that back. So if you can't if they can't get them on one, they can get them on another one. Mm, interesting. But I don't think he's gonna well, I mean, well, I don't know. I don't hang out with the judge, I don't know what he's thinking. But when he when they he denied them the acquittal, that lets me know, uh uh, the judge is like, No, that's okay, because he would have been like he would have told defense, you know what, you have a point, let's just drop this and end it. And then plus he already has a record of being a um SO. Let's yeah, right oh, right. keeping it real is they found they found he was searching and looking at CP, particularly underage black girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another thing too. But I don't understand because they didn't put that in the. Let me know if anybody's been following the trial <clears throat> every you know every day. Let me know. Did you did they bring it up because they didn't bring up. The fact that he was looking at, you know, Kitty P. About ten days before Bree no, that's, became missing, no, they're holding the cars on that one. In case, in case, let's just say, in case it goes his way, they holding on that card. Mm. Yeah, cause that's that's a major. That is deep. That right yeah, there proves that he did. You get a, you get fifteen, you get fifteen to thirty cents on that. And first of all, already the judge already knows about it. Even if he didn't want to bring it into court, he knows about it. So he don't have to bring it into court. He'd be like, mm, I remember this guy looking up such and such. And prosecution is not going to pull it up unless they have some facts. This, this, you know, this is really sad. All of this could have been prevented. If this child was put first and if she was protected, she'd be alive right now. We wouldn't be here talking about her. This wouldn't be happening. She wasn't protected and she wasn't put first and she's a child. People don't have kids if you don't want to put them first. I'm sorry. You're, they come first, you come next. It is what it is when you become a parent. If you don't want to do that, I understand. A lot of people don't want to, you know, put other people before them. I understand. Don't make kids. Use condoms. Resume. This states exhibit 583. Um, this is obviously a window. Do you recall which window this would have been in the apartment? I believe it's the window above the bed in the bedroom. Um, and though it may be a little hard to see, but through the blinds, 
what would you be looking at then? The parking lot of the apartment complex. And States Exhibit 584, what's being shown there? I'm photographing the lock on the window. And does the window appear to be locked? I don't recall if up or down was the locked position. But that was the purpose of documenting that? Correct. States Exhibit 587. Uh, what are we being shown here? The exterior of the apartment on the same side as Costco, so that east side of the apartment. And then 588, what's being shown here? Again, the east side of the apartment, exterior. Um, and again, that apartment is a second story apartment. Correct. So this photograph would capture the distance from that window to the ground. Yes. States Exhibit 589. Okay. Denitha, Denithia. I hope I'm saying right. If I'm saying wrong, sorry. I'll just say Jones for now. I'm sorry for butchering name. No disrespect. I think the lawyer convinced him to do a bench trial. After reading the documents and saw that a lot of evidence were not tested, he looked like a gorgy guy. <laughs> Can't pronounce it. Hmm, that's something to think about. You might have a point there. Because it's strange. Why did he go to the judge? Never know. Maybe they suggested that. Reason. What's being shown here? The window in the living room. And this is state 591. What's being shown here? Again, showing where the lock was on the window. States Exhibit 594. What's in this photograph? It's a um, kind of mid-range close-up of a white t-shirt. And was this t-shirt located in the bedroom? Yes. <laughs> States Exhibit 595. Is that a close-up of the tag of that t-shirt? Yes. And what size did that t-shirt appear to be? 5XL. And then States Exhibit 596. What's being depicted here? A pair of gloves that were also found in the bedroom. Now, in addition to photographing um, several items and overall photos taken throughout that apartment, uh, were there several items that were collected as well? Yes. Hey, I've got another. You may. I'm going to show you first what's been marked as states exhibit 69. What is states exhibit 69? The black and blue machete. And was that an item that was located in that apartment on July 10th, 2020, that you would have documented in the photos that you sent through? I don't think this is the right one. This was collected by- That's on a different date. A different date, okay. That's when it was returned from the FBI. Gotcha, okay, yes. Um, so based on the description then on the label, 
the black and blue machete. Yes. Was that the item you would have collected then on July 10th, 2020? Yes. At this time, Your Honor, the state would offer Exhibit 69 into evidence. No objection. Exhibit 69 will be admitted. Also then going to show you state's exhibit 70, 71, and 72. Do you recognize these? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop showing these um, clips. I just want you to see the um, the the setup of the home, you know, with a brighter light, everything clear, and you can see everything and all these guns that was around the home when you have kids in the house. And let me tell you something. I think the mother knew that he was a gun-toting person. She had to know. And you was okay with your kids being over there with him having these guns and he not locked up and put away? See, we have to look at all these things. That's that's a shame. All right, I'm gonna show the interrogation. Let's let's get into the interrogation. I know Deb asked for it, and some people might then see interrogation. So let's just watch interrogation, if you like. So um, give me a second while I set it up. It's gonna be quiet for a second. So give me a second while I set it up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to watch the ham hock interrogation. Mm -hmm. And I already did this um, before, um, before, but I'll just show it again now. So we're going to watch interrogation of ham hock. And you just see, if you're going to tell me this man is not a sociopath, I don't believe it. This is a truly a sociopath. You can see in the body cam. They lie, 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 and lie over a lie. They can never tell the truth. That's all that comes out their mouths. They specialize in lying, and they're extremely charming. Mm -hmm. That's why he get these these type of women because he he charms them. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get into it. Let's let's hear what him have to say. Now the speed is going to be on one point two five. We're going to go a little faster on here. If it's too fast for you, just hit that settings, and you can slow it down. Whatever your choice, whatever's comfortable for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into him Hawk's interrogation. Detective Obert, um,
Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Hello? Okay, I'm putting you so long into my phone call and text messages. Well, I didn't see your phone call. I just answered it just now, did I? Okay, you're at the police station? Yes, sir. I'm right here right now. All right. Do you have any info for us? Uh, what type of info? Like what? Like what? Tell them the face. You have the nerves to get upset when these people are trying to help to find out where is this little girl. You see, this is what these sociopaths do. They'll shift on you, poor, poor down. Why are you all attacking me? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This officer was going out of his mind trying to find her because he's running around here trying to think he's going to destroy evidence and get away with what he did. You low-life piece of ham hock. You stupid. He should have never been born. That's all I have to say. Reason. And people like you shouldn't be born. Reason. A lot of people should be born. If we're going to interview him, we got to your phone's gonna be sitting right here, okay? Okay. Henry? Hey, what's up? Henry? I'm glad you're able to come down. I'm not I, was gonna, I was gonna come down, man. It just makes it easier. We just can make contact with you right away. But I was, I was right there with the officer when he put the phone call. Yeah, but then he left. Because. If I'm correct, this is the lead detective that was on the stand quite often and giving evidence. And he's such a cutie pie, too. He did a phenomenal job. Reason. She was, you know, basically blaming it all on me. Um, uh, first, let's just start with your, uh, name. the, yeah, uh, <laughs> yes, and then can you show your last name for me? I'm not quite this, so you don't have to, you don't have to get distracted here. There we go. Uh, middle initial. E. Date of birth. August, like, 72. Good phone number for you? I don't know the number. It's out there. Okay. okay. Uh, and then the, the address is your address up there. No, or? no, no, I live in my mobile. And where is that? I don't, I don't know the address. I just know it's right there by. Okay, you don't know the address. <laughs> Listen to the lies over lies. Oh, this interrogation pees me off. And the, the body cam. All right, Volt says, betcha Henry was assaulted as a child. Most pedals are sadly a generational curse. You have a point. Disgusting. What do a uh, adult sees in a child? You a sicko. All y'all need to burn in a hand basket down there. Resume. Uh, um, Nestle Perinos. Right there. And right there. That's that. And, and, uh, and what is that? It's a mobile home. Mobile home. And is it on Schmidt Road? Yes, yes. And what does it look like? It's all white. It's got King Highway on. King Highway? Yeah. And uh, say if I were to go on Rockingham. All you got to do is go down. You'll see them. Um, I spent take left on Schmidt Road. Take the Schmidt Road, go down, and, and you'll see, like, the back of the trailers. You will see them. And then like the, the semi-trailers? Semi-trailers, yeah. And then you Jay, you see it, too. Mm -hmm. Yep, Donna, 100% girlfriend had to know the demon was lusting on Bree. DL knew something was wrong with his dad being alone with Bree. Mm -hmm. If this little boy picked it up, you going to tell me she didn't pick it up with her man? I mean, come on, ladies. Let's, let's be honest. We know when we out with our man and he's kind of looking at that female in a certain way and we have to snap him out of it like, hello, I'm right here. So we know. We know. And the girlfriend, she knows how her man gets down. Get out of here. Woo, boy. Resume. Pull into there and you'll see it right there. Okay. All eight minutes is what I? James Highway. 
and that's where he stayed. Yes. Is it techn- Is there an address associated? With I mean, that? I don't know the address. You know what I mean? But there's a name. There's an address on the building. Okay. But I don't know the address on the building. Okay. That's what the officer was asking me, and I told him I didn't know it. Okay. And uh, so do you have agreement with that building? Yes. You have your yes. mobile on there. Okay. Yes. Um. All right. And where do you work at? I don't work right there. Okay. I was working at William Precision Steel. Okay. But I was uh, waiting until after the corona shift was over with. Okay. And uh, you are currently dating? I mean, she's like a close friend. Okay. You know, but, you know, we close. You know what I'm saying? How long have you guys been friends for? Uh, a few years. A few years. Yes, sir. See? How so, Peppa? Yeah, we just we just close friends, you know. You know, been together you know, a few years. What? You're living in this woman's house. And you're bringing the kids over there. And you're hollering about somebody drinking orange juice. You know you live in there. See what I'm talking about? Piece of crap, your low life. And if I'm correct, when did she miss was in July, correct? I hope I'm right. Well, they moved into that place in March, she said. So they was only there for a few months. Yep. Hmm. Resume. And what's her name? Andrea Culberson. And did you drive her car here, or I'm gonna leave that blank. What do you mean? Well, I mean, I, oh, I, I get it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I kind of yeah. get what you're going at. But uh, is her car parked up front? No, no. Is her where's her Impala at? Her Impala's uh, with my homie right now. So where at? They moving around in it. Who who's moving around in it? My homies. Who's that? Little Vince. What what's his real name? Vince. Well, okay, uh, Vince what? Uh. Harris. And they're right around in it. Until I call them. Okay. Seminole Strong in the building, moderator. Anyone else with Vince looking for it? No. Do you have a phone number for Vince? No, I don't. Okay. Just so I can confirm with him that's what's going on. You know what I mean? Did you just say Strong is in the house? Strong in the house. Thank you for being here. Reason. Yeah, but this is crazy, man. Okay. Um, so let's, let's start out with uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Or did you have the kids prior to that? Well, let's- no, yesterday... Um- Lil Dink wanted to come with me. Okay, um, so let's backtrack here. Lil Dink is notorious. Okay, and he is my son, your son, and, and that's with Aisha. Aisha and notorious last name is I don't know what last name. Is. Okay, I uh, uh, what's uh, first name? Uh, uh, D E T O R I O U S. And uh, and then you, Jack. Did you hear that? See now, watching again. I'm pitching. He just said he don't even know his son's last name. So the son don't even have his last name. Because his name he is knows the, He and knows his son's son. last name. He just, he, he's playing games. Yeah, that's true. But he knows the son don't even have his last name. Because his name is Henry Dinkins. And the son is D.L. The last name's L. This, is, this whole thing is a hot mess. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow. Resume. Victoria's Mosley, yeah, and uh, his mother is Aisha Langford. Okay, and then do you have any other biological? No, I, I raised I raised Briasia. Since how old was she? My baby. Okay, and uh, so you raised her with Aisha. This clown said he raised her. I'm done. Well, he did meet the baby mother when she was a few months old. She was just a few months. That was her second child at 18. And then she met him. And then when she met him, they was together. She said a year or two. Which one is it, a year or is it two years? But whatever. And that's when she slipped in and said something about him being married. And I was like, hmm. But then she, she also slipped in her, um, in her, when she was on the stand, she said, oh, yeah, but then he was in jail. So he was in jail for something at the time after she had his son. And y'all follow me? I hope I'm making sense. So I had the son. What was he in jail for? I'm very curious. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's get back to it. 
Anonymous you to hello had to enter through the back. That's right. Came through the back door. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Reason. Hey, Aisha. Yes. How long were you and Aisha together for? Uh, like two years. But we stayed close friends. Um, but you guys stayed close friends. So how long? So you guys we've been, been friends all the way up to now. Okay. And what, how long ago did you guys break up? Uh, break off. Just like six years ago. I'm, I'm only guessing it. I'm not yeah, for approximate though. Right. Um, so notorious for Asia are kind of what you consider your my kids. kids. Is that, is that my kids. Kids. Okay. My kids. okay. Um, and so did you pick them up yesterday or when did you pick them up from Aisha or how did that exchange go? I mean, uh, I'm trying to stay cool right now. Me and Aisha, uh, I had seen them and they said they wanted to come and spend time with me. What do you mean you have seen, you, when yesterday? Yeah, okay. And where at? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. But they wanted to spend time with me. And, you know me, I'm like, yeah, y'all can spend time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know, man. It's just like crazy. This is crazy. So, <laughs> what time did you see them yesterday? I don't even remember. Uh, was it early in the morning, late in the evening? So it was probably around in the afternoon sometime. And this was at Aisha's house. I don't remember where I, where where we where we was talking, but I picked I picked them up at Aisha's mom's house. Picked them up from Aisha's mom's house at what approximately what time? I don't remember what time, sir. Like. I I evening, know. what time of day? Well, I think it was around the evening time. Evening time. So you picked them up from Aisha, and uh, what car were you in when you picked them up? Uh, I don't know. I think it was the Impala. I don't know. I don't remember. It probably was the Brent. I don't know. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> then, so you picked them up. Jimmy bring them back Levis here. Thing. Well, bring back. Levis thing. Do you take them straight to your home? No, no, no. no, 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 no we we went, just let me through your day. We went to my cousin's house. house. We went down to my cousin's house. And they played with my little cousins, and they wanted to go. What cousin's house was that? Uh, that Vince. Oh, Vince. Okay. And where does he live? Uh, on Taylor. Oh, Taylor and what? Uh, between six and six. You know the exact address? Or no? No, no, no. Okay. But uh, they got. I guess they wanted to go to the house, so we went to the house. They started playing the games at the house, and then they took their showers, and then they got in the bed. You know, me and Andrew laid down. I got up. I left. Came back. What time did you leave around? I don't even remember, sir. I mean, and what with the sleeping arrangements, how how is that? Like who sleeps mean? where in the house? And I mean, the kids were in Andrew's room. Okay. Me and Andrew was sitting out in the living room. Okay. We was in the living room, and I had left and came back. And then when I left, I think I went I went down to Little Vince's house, but nobody was there. And when I came back, you know, I I did a little look around. I didn't see Bree. No, no, that wasn't that time. I don't remember. Oh, that's a lie. That's a ball face lie. It wasn't even that, that time. What time was it? I don't ever look at the time. So, I mean, I'm really confused with the time. But I know when I went and looked for Brie, so I only seen a little dinky in the bed. Okay. And I left. So I went, like, moving around. And I left, like, 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 left the apartment? Like the apartment, yeah. And went, like, out and about, you know, where, we was, where she was living. Where? Yeah, out there in... Uh, I don't know where the park goes out there. I don't know. But you're... Okay. Mm -hmm. Darlene Preston in the building. Sorry about that. Um, so, sorry. 
BG, I can't with you. No bra grandma helped. All the women are guilty. I can't. And keeping it, I'm so sorry. I'm just catching the comment. I didn't see it before because I would have rewinded it to show you the um the living room. I apologize. I'm just catching up with the comments. I apologize. Reason. Yeah, keep it keeping it real. That shouldn't keep it real. Reason. I can get this straight. So uh you pick them up from Aisha's, you go to Vince's house, right, they play, uh, they play, play with the kids. kids. Head, then you head up to Andrea's house. Okay. Did you go to your trailer at all? No. Okay. And then so you guys go there, you set the kids shower, and they get ready for bed, and they sleep in Andrea's room, uh, in the same bed together. Yes. And then you guys are, you and Andrea in the room. And then at one point you leave in the night. How, how many hours do you think it was between when you first got there and then you left the apartment? Okay. Home, yeah, around. Around. around okay. And so then you leave, but everyone is everyone still in those same like kind of areas when you leave? When, no, when I was here. When you left, yeah, when I when I when I when I left, ain't nobody came out of no room. Yeah, yeah, everyone was everybody there. was still you okay. know situated. Detorius was uh, before I left. Detorius was still playing the game, and I went in there, and he said he was done playing the game, so I took the TV off, and he went to sleep, and then. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't live alone. Uh, sat around for a while, bored. Deb, thank you. I will look at my um the email. All right, I'll look at the email. The, no, I'm watching some other trial. The one with the um obsessed guy over a woman. I think she was a psychologist or something. I just caught something. I just called the, tail, the tail end of it, but it seemed like it's ooh, lordy, lordy. All right, reason. I'm saying, left. Came back. I'm saying, how long were you gone for? I don't know. Probably not. So, 45 minutes to an hour, 30 minutes. I don't know. Somewhere okay. around there. Okay. And then you come back and then um, kind of, what do you do when you get back? Nothing. Nothing. Did you like just go to bed or did no? You I wasn't. Stay in the I was I was in the living room. I wasn't even okay. tired. Yeah. But I got period like uh, when I was there. You know, so I period I had to check them and make sure they was they was good enough because we had the air conditioner on, so I had to unplug it because it gets too cold. Okay. So uh, I pretty much, you know, what I'm saying, like I said, when I realized that, uh, and it's kind of odd because I never knew Bria ever leave ever. You know what I'm saying? Never, never, ever, ever leave. I never. It was just odd. You know what I mean? And when uh, I realized, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was looking around. Cause then I, then when I came back, Andrea was up. She like, what's wrong? I'm like, man, something ain't right. You know what I'm saying? I, I was freaking out a little bit. So, so she like, uh, I'm like, man, I'll talk to you. And then I'll talk to you. And then I'll talk to you. And then I figure this shit out. <clears throat> and you know what I'm saying? Cause I didn't want her stressing. You know what I'm saying? So. And then when I came back, I grabbed Dink, you know, and I'm like, man, he's like, Dad, where, where is Bree? I said, uh, I'm not, I don't know. He's like, and then we look, we rode around, and then just, I text his mom. When I text his mom, she was at work, and I, she, she, she was like, like, hey, uh, Bree's not, Bree's missing. She was like, well, uh, stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? Stop, stop playing with me. And I'm like, man, no, I'm not playing with for real. And she was like, um, she was like, uh, stop playing me. I said, look, man, I'm not playing. So I gave Dink the phone. Dink told her, like, mom, you know, I don't, we don't know where she at. So then he handed me the phone back, and I'm like, I got to talk to him. Like, man, your mom mad. And he said, dad, I don't understand why mom mad at you. You know, you haven't done nothing. I'm like, I mean, I mean, but I'm still responsible. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know, don't know what to say to you know. So then she, me and her met up, and she was like, You and Aisha met up? Where yeah. at? Recording. Burger King. Okay. And Aisha was like, really upset. And I said, I, right, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I understand how you're coming. I feel what you're saying right now, but, you know, 
you stressing out right now. It's not going to help us out right now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We have to figure this shit out, you know? So I was like, well, you're responsible. You're responsible. You know, and it made me feel so fucking bad because, you know, I am responsible. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I just, like I said, I was like lost. Didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to say to her. I was, I was lost for words. I couldn't even talk to her really. And she was yelling and screaming. And then <coughs> she said, I'm going to call somebody to come out there to Andrew's apartment. I said, okay. You know what I'm saying? So we went out there. When the dude approached, you know what I'm saying? The and dude as in? The officer. Okay. When, so did you call 911? Uh, no, she did. I told her I, told her I was going to go to the police station at first. She said, no, let's go to the apartment. You know what I'm okay. saying? So I said, well, we can call at the apartment. You know what I'm saying? And I used to just like, because first of all, I'm thinking like, she ain't really missing. You know what I mean? Something, you know what I'm saying? Maybe something, I don't know. But once they really say that, ain't nobody find her. That's when he hit me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she's missing. You know what I mean? So did you call 911 or did? Aisha did. Okay, you didn't call 911. No, because. And Aisha called with her own phone? I'm not for sure, sir. I don't know. Did Aisha ever have your phone? I called Aisha first because I was really. But did Aisha ever have possession of your phone? No. Okay. Um, so let's backtrack here a little bit. Um, so, uh, do you remember at one point, or approximately at what point in the night you realized Bree was gone? I don't remember what time it was. What, but not, were you, so, were you sitting around and then kind of like, w run me through again of when you noticed she okay, was gone? Like, you know, when I came back. Yanni, I hope I say it right. Why did he, he got that creepy RV in the middle of nowhere to take kids out there? Exactly. Doesn't add up. Why? I don't understand. Why does... What, what, this RV? Mm hmm. What was up with this RV? This man should never been born. Resume. The second time. You know, After being gone for like 45 minutes. Yeah, I, I did like a little check. You know what I mean? You know, she wasn't there. She wasn't there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and you don't know what time you got back. Well, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't, gotcha. I don't remember. And I was like, like, I was scared at the, at, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow, what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? But I didn't think it was like this serious. You know what I'm saying? I, I really was like confused. Okay. And so you get back and then, I mean, I, I mean, I've been time frame in between at least. Like, are we talking like 10 to 11 at night? Or are we talking like after hours? It was like, probably after hours. It was like, probably, like closer. I don't, I don't, I don't remember the time. I'm not going to 12 to 2. I didn't even, the reason why I don't remember the time. Because I didn't have my phone. Gotcha. Where was your phone at? It was sitting right there on the table. And I, was, I mean, what do you mean sitting right there on the table? It was sitting right there. Well, not on the table. On the, I think it was sitting on the ledge. In the apartment. In the apartment. But you were in the apartment, right? Yes. Okay. Um, no, but when I left, I didn't have my phone. When you left to? Put out a little Vince's. Little Vince's, okay. But then you got back. When I got back. Okay. And then I left again. I, I left twice. And what where was, where did you leave for the second time? Or what was that? I think I went to the quick shop. I think I went to the quick shop. Got a pack of cigarettes or something like that. Yeah, what do you remember what quick shop? Uh it's quick shop on fifty third. Okay. And about what time would that have been? I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. You got a pack of cigarettes there? Yes. So just so I have this right, you went to Vince's, you come back. How long I mean, in between when you got I'm just, I mean, I'm trying to put the time frame together. I could yeah. be off, but I know where, where I went. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what I was just trying to I'm just I'll figure out. And then uh, so you got back from quick shop with the cigarettes, and then what happened after that? Nothing. No. Well, okay. So you, but then you got back. Uh, then I, like I said, I got back. I don't know. This is, I don't just, I just, I don't know what time it was. Or okay. All That's fine. We can move past that. All I know is, at one point or another, you noticed that free is not in the room. Okay. Um, and then so, what do you do immediately after you notice free is not? I go, I go outside, go outside, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. the first thing I did, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I went outside. Okay. And, and then, then, like, just around the area, or did you get in the car and drive? Well, I went around, around the area first. Okay. And then I started moving around, like, trying to get close within the areas. You know what I mean? Trying to look to see if she was walking, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. And for the sake of, I, I'm not going to hand me off on a driving charge. If you went and drove and tried to find her in certain places, that's, that's I would, I would, I went in the area where, out there, you know what I'm saying, like, Trying to see around the apartment complex. You no, know, like outside. You know what I'm saying? Like when I pulled in, I would have like seen those, it. like those businesses and stuff like no, that. No, like or? the streets. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? The nearby streets. I buy the, I don't know what streets. I mean, I don't. Uh, like, the streets that would go back, the streets that would go forward. You know what I'm saying? It was like buying um, Blockbusters. Blockbuster. You mean the video? Family video. video, family video, video. You know, yeah, gotcha. Still work. gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, and then how long were you looking for her approximately the first time? What do you mean the first time? I looked for it for, for a while. I've been looking for it, period. Yeah, I know, but, it, but then you do come back to the apartment you said earlier. When I went looking for her, I did come back to get the... Yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm asking just how long was that time frame of prior to picking up? I don't, I don't know, sir. Okay. Um, but did you have your phone then when you were looking for her or no? No. Okay. I wasn't even thinking about the phone. The phone wasn't even a, a concern, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Finding her was a yep. concern, for sure. So the phone was yeah. a concern. So you come back, you grab Dink, and then is that when you and Andrea have the conversation about what's going on? Or, no, no. Or do you have the conversation prior to you leaving the, that long I, time? I never before? really talked to Andrea, period, until basically I talked to Aisha. You know what I'm saying? So Andrea had no idea until after you spoke with Aisha? She didn't have no idea, period. Like, she didn't have no full understanding of what was going on. Did she know Bree Asia was gone? Yeah, I guess she did. I don't I don't know. What do you mean? You know? Because I don't know if she went in the room. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing. I don't know if she went in the room, so. I, she knew you were upset or you were panicking about something, but she didn't know she what. Didn't, but I know uh, when I came. Clicks and it, views it, 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 is in the building. Dick was in the bed at first. Yeah. So, evidently, she knew then. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That Bree is not in the house. Gotcha. No, I, I, I mean, I, we didn't talk about that, okay. but I mean, it's like common sense type of thing. Yeah, it's like, oh, so I'm putting two and two together. Gotcha. Um, so then you pick up Dink and you guys go looking again, right? Right. Um, and d- sometime during that time you call Aisha, right? Yes. Okay. And then you guys meet at Burger King? Yes. Okay. No, McDonald's. Not Burger King. McDonald's. On, on, on Kimberly. On Kimberly. Daddy like, Key Kimberly. is in the building. It wasn't, it wasn't on Burger King. It was, it was McDonald's. So you guys meet there in those in that parking lot? Or did okay. you guys go inside at all? Or? No, because no, she was mad. And she was like, Furious, you know what I'm saying? She really didn't want to talk to me. But the only thing she kept saying, hey, you're responsible, you're responsible, you're responsible. Yeah, I was you know what I'm saying? Why wasn't you watching? I'm like, what you mean? She's sleep. The fuck you mean? You know what I'm saying? Who watches? You know what I'm saying? I periodically check, but <sighs> any um, places you could—I mean, you probably already checked them, but any place in particular that she would enjoys or goes to? I ain't been around my kids in a while, so exactly, Corey. So the kids were sleeping on the bed with all these weapons under it. Mm hmm. Crazy, right? I had to show those pictures. Resume. So, you know, how, how long has it been? Some months. Some months. Like, other than, other than, you know, being down there with the river with them, you know what I'm saying, barbecue for them. Uh, as for really having a, a bond like the way we used to have, like spending the night, like period, like our close bond period, like be spending time with them, being with them, around them all the time. That's been some time back, you know what I mean? So, called on camera is in the building. And how long do you think you were at Vince's place for? He wasn't there. No, I'm talking about uh, when you took the kids there after picking oh, them up from. Sh- just for a while. For a while, for a while. Several hours, probably. So, it was some hours. I know it was some hours. Was it dark when you guys got home from Vince's? No, it was still, still a little late. It was still a little light. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, this is getting a headache. And you said the kids like took a shower, did what they need to do to get ready for bed right when they got home? Right oh, when they got to bed. Day, 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 day. So it was a little bit, yeah. And this, uh, my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, was this the first time that she, her, and Detorius have spent the night up there? Yes. At the, that's why. I mean, that's why I'm really confused. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, uh, Lil Dick used to stay with me all the time out there on 35th. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Can you grab my phone so I can see who that is? I got it. I will just leave it for a second. Uh, I just wanted to tell him the 
to come down here. You know what I mean? Because okay. I thought you went and picked them up or they came I, with you or something like that. What you mean right after? I, I was told that you went and got your mom or your mom came with you. No, they was um, out of town. Your mom's out of town? They was. They was closer towards I was sitting. They said they was turning around. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because, I mean, I thought they would be there, but they wasn't there. Gotcha. Um, so, okay. first first time that they spent the night there. Apartment 8, right? Was that it? Yeah. yeah. Um, have you spent the night there multiple times, though, prior to this? Periodically. Periodically. Yeah. And then, um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, periodically. Off and on. Okay. Um, just so I make sure I have everything right. Kids go to bed. They sleep in the bedroom. Yes, sir. Uh, so you guys sleep on the air mattress or something? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, but you don't go to bed. You go to, you go back to Vince's? I went, I went down there, but they wasn't there. But no one was there, so you didn't. Well, they I'm not, oh, let me, let me rephrase that. Did nobody answer? No one answered. Okay, gotcha. I don't know if they was there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Gotcha. It was just no o'clock. <laughs> so did you go straight to Vince's and then straight back? Oh, yes, you Okay. Uh, like you didn't make any stops anywhere else or anything like that. Not that I can recall. And then when you, so then you went back and then was it a certain amount of time before you went to the quick shop to get cigarettes or there were? It wasn't right away. Okay. Maybe. There's some lull in between that. I mean, probably, I, I mean, I'm not saying like, I don't, I don't, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and guess the time because yeah, I don't gotcha. know. I, I don't want to put a frame on the time and I really don't know the time. You know yeah. I mean? Yeah. I hear you. So, um, and then did you go to quick shop in the uh, Impala? Or is it a different car that you yes, I went right, in the fall? Okay. Uh, got cigarettes and then you went straight back. Okay. That took about 30, 30, 35 hours. Quick ago. shop on 53rd. Is that the? That's the one by West High School. West, uh, or by North High School, you mean? North High School. Okay. Um, head back. And then it's after that is when you noticed Free Asia is not. It wasn't there. Wasn't there. Then you go outside, you check first around the apartment area. And I did see it. You didn't see her. Then you check some of the nearby streets. I did see it. Then, then I got the, then I, that's when I panicked. You know what I'm saying? And I, I was like, I knew Aisha was still asleep, so I, I really didn't call her until I knew that she got up. Okay. So uh, when I called her, you know what I'm saying? She was up, but she was at work. Uh, Where did she work at? I don't know. Okay. I know it's a fast food place. Okay. And when I, like I said, when I talked to her on the phone, she was like, uh, quit playing with me. You know what I mean? Stop playing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, I'm not playing with you, man. I'm keeping this shit real. Because at first she thought it was a joke. And I told her, all right, this is not a joke. You know what I'm saying? And that's when she said, well, there's only one person here at the job. So I said, all right, you got to get off. You got to get off. You got to get off. You got to mm -hmm. get off right now. So. And you just left your phone in the apartment. Yeah, so I really wasn't. Before. I really yeah. wasn't. Um, Thinking about the phone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, no, for sure. That wasn't, that wasn't uh, a priority. And I was getting ready to leave my phone when I grabbed a little ding because, you know what I'm saying? But that's when Andrew said, Henry, take your phone. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, oh. I'm like, where is it? So, and then that's when I grabbed my phone. Gotcha. And, then and that's how you're able to communicate then. with Aisha. Right. Uh, but you never called 911? No, I didn't. Okay. Because I really didn't, I really, really wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It was like, I really wasn't for sure. I didn't, I didn't dial, I should have dialed 911, but I really wasn't for sure, you know what I mean? So I didn't dial 911. So then you guys, you met at Aisha McDonald's, and then so, did you guys ride together, well, not in the same car, but no, we followed were, each we other were, back we up were, to the... We rode up there to the apartment, and that's when um, Lil Dink came out and said, that the uh, officer was outside. I said, okay, I'm coming outside. So I went outside, and that's when Aisha got kind of like a little frustrated, I would say. And he was trying to tell us, like, no, give me information. Give me, I'm like, who? The officer. officer. That's what he's like, give me information. You know what I'm saying? Aisha, she was so mad, she didn't even want to give him information. I'm like, all right, you got to give the man information. You have to. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? She walked away. That's when I walked away. Because I was just as mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I right, is you fucking serious? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what I call her. I call her. Okay. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And it made me mad. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, what the fuck, man? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, yeah. who doesn't give the fucking information? I don't have no picture of Bree. You know what I'm saying? I have just like one or two pictures, period, in my the phone with little ink. You know what I'm saying? I used to have a lot of pictures of them in other phones. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't have them in this phone. Okay. So, uh, so you took uh, tours with you, and then you met Aisha at McDonald's. Yes. So you get back to the apartments. How does Dink come out of the apartment when he's supposed to be with you and Aisha at the McDonald's? No, that's not what I said. 
I said, Little thing, when the officer, him and I used to sit in the car, when the officer came, Little thing came up and said that the, officer, the police officer was there. That's when I came down. Came down from? Downstairs. So you were in the apartment when the officer got there. Okay. So you arrived before the officer? Huh? So you arrived before, before the officer? officer. Yes, yes, you and You and Torres both arrived? Matter of fact, I believe it was the that you walked up and. No, 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 no. Me and I used to make it there. I used to got the number off the building and have a copy. Number, what number off the building? Because they got numbers on the. Oh, like the address number? The address, yeah. They got the numbers on the building. Okay. okay. And like I said, I, I didn't even know the number. You know what I'm saying? I still don't know the number. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But. Uh, like I said, that's when Lil Dink came up and said that uh, a police officer was like, I'm like, okay, I'm coming down. And that's when I came down. And I got to talking to him. And he was telling me, what, you know, something that happened. Before, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, so like, don't panic, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm trying to keep my composure, but I used to was already to the limit, and it, it ended up becoming a, a spring match out there, even with the officer, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do if you're not giving me the fucking information? Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, man, I'm like, if I knew what you needed to know on pictures and all that, I'll give it to you. Yeah, I don't have that, you know what I'm okay. saying? So, there's nothing I can do about that. But she made me mad when she didn't want to give him that, you know what I'm saying? Because he needs that. That's how you get the, you know what I'm saying, they're looking for that person. Okay. So, um, and then, so, you leave the apartment while the officers are there, and then where do you no, go? I, I used to leave first. Okay. I used to leave, and, and then, then I left. Okay. And you, where'd you go after you? I was just so mad, I was just rolling around. Okay. I was still looking, you know what I'm saying, but I was just riding, you know, just looking around, you know what I'm saying, like. Do you I remember mean, what parts specifically, like some places that you checked, or names of businesses? Did you make it downtown here? At I all? came all the way, I went through the whole, I went through the whole process again. Did you go back to your mobile home at all? Yes, me and Lil went down there. Just listen to the lies, lies, lies after lies. Pathetic. You this morning? Yeah. You once we once we was looking, you know what I'm saying? We got to looking, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, I needed to grab what was it that I grabbed up under there? I think it was uh, a couple of dollars, whatever it was that I needed, some money. So you, I was starting. Was that before or after you saw Aisha? I saw Aisha. I saw Aisha. I don't remember, man. I don't know, man. I I really don't know. I I mean, shit. Rise up and power and network is in the building. Then then we got then we see Aisha. Okay. Because I was starting to get I was starting to get low on gas. And, I need to grab a few dollars to start to have. That's why I put it in my pocket. Okay. Um, so I can continue to like just ride, you know what I mean? And just, just I was like I said, I was gonna ride until I couldn't ride anymore. You know what I mean? So um, and then so Aisha makes contact with you over the phone and you're down. I made contact with Aisha. Yeah, you called her after and then was I there said, a reason why you were answering your phone or text messages or anything? No, because my, my, my phone my phone, no, no, not at this time. Not at this time. My phone be acting up sometimes. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck it is about this phone, but uh, sometimes I gotta text people first in order to call them, and I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? But anybody, you know, when I go through it and see it, you know what I'm saying? Because when I'm when I was moving around, I really my my mind really wasn't on the phone. You know what I'm saying? My mind was on Aisha phone calls. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you know what I'm saying? She found her or something. But anybody else phone call, I really wasn't concerned about. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wasn't worried about no other phone call with Aisha. But at first, <clears throat> Aisha said she tried to call me a couple times. You know what I'm saying? It, it didn't ring, you know what I mean? But once I looked at the phone and I called her back, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And once I got to talking to Aisha. And so when you said you meet us at the station, where'd you go after that? To my sisters. Two sisters? Yeah. Uh, where's that at? Uh, Albany Cemetery. Uh, like on Eastern? Or? Oh yeah, Albany Cemetery. Uh, do you know the address? No, I don't. What's your sister's name? Nita. Nita. What, what, and, my, and I, what my sister got to do with this? Well, just she wasn't. So I know the address. So I can look it up. Uh, McQuay. McQuay. Yes. 
Can you spell that for me? N C Q U A Y. Nita is just N I T A. N I T A. Uh, so then you went there, but you said they were out of town. You didn't make any contact there? No. And then where'd you go after that? Here. Here? Oh, I'm over here talking and I had it on mute. I'm so sorry. All right. Elise says, stop having kids thinking the man is going to stay and marry you. It's not going to happen. Okay. And us ladies, we have to stop that. You cannot trap a man with a baby. It's just not happening. Those shotgun wedding days is over. Back in the days, men get a woman pregnant. They'd be like, well, I'm going to do the honorable thing, and I'm going to marry her and make a family. She's going to carry my last name and the children's last name. But a lot of these guys is not doing it no more. They're willing to get you impregnate, impregnate you, but they're not trying to marry you. No, they're not trying to. Not saying all, but when you're dealing with these dusty, ham hock type dudes, this is what you're going to get. Because marrying a woman, that means he has to be a leader and a provider and a protector to his wife and his children. And a lot of these dusty, ham hock dudes, low life dudes, they're not capable of doing that. And they're not trying to do that. They'd rather sit around, drink, smoke weed, and play fucking, excuse my language, I shouldn't be cursing, no cursing, and video games all day. That's, that's what they think. And then you're supposed to give them sex when they want and get on your knees too. Are you flipping kidding me? But you see, y'all ladies is entertaining it. So you're a dust that too. You're entertaining these fools. Not good. And mothers, teach your children about dating. Resume. Okay. Oh, and then... But they told me, they told me to give them, uh, well, I talked to the officer then. I said, uh, well, I want to, at least have my mom and my sister come down with me. She said, okay, well, just be down here by, it was a state with a female. She said, come down by, just, can you be down there by 12? I said, yeah, I can make it down here by 12. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when I left from there, I went to, when I left from my sister, I, like, I came straight here. Okay. And then, so how is your car not here? You know what I mean? I came straight here. Um, I get that, but then. But the car that you were driving was the Impala, and the Impala's not here. I didn't say I was driving the Impala. Well, you came in the Impala. I never said I was driving the Impala. So you left, but you left the apartments in the Impala, right? Yes. Okay. So at what point did you not have the Impala anymore? What did that have to do with the Impala? I mean, because you left there in a vehicle, and that's the that's. I mean, I, I'm not I'm not trying to make it hard on you. Yeah, I get it. it, it I mean, literally, as for the situation with the driving aspect, you know, I'm not looking for the driving. I'm, I'm looking for the car. I'm keeping that solo with the. No, that's fine. I'm more concerned about the car. I mean, if you want to check the car, you can check the car. Yeah, yeah, we would like to do that. Yes, probably, yeah, yeah. Without a problem. Where, where is the car currently? It's, it's, it's reachable. Reachable as in? I can get it to you guys at any time. That's what I'm saying. I, and also to the back track. I mean, one thing about me, I mean, like I said, if I had any issues, I would have never came down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, pull, you know what I'm saying, no extra, but when it comes down to, the, you know how I feel about the drive situation. And I know that, but I'm not worried about that. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm saying is you hear a back trail of when you left the, you know, the police asked you to stay right. there and you left, and all of a sudden there's this car you left in, but now we don't yeah, know what the car is. You you can, yeah, but I can, if you want to search the car, I can bring the car to search the car. And I'm just trying to also backtrack, like, where, I mean, you don't have to say you're driving see, the car. That's my mom. Probably, they probably downstairs. It's just restricted. understand your route that you took because you had the car and they didn't i just want to know where that transition took place yeah, it's 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 reachable bro i just say it like that but you but, so you don't but you don't want to talk about how you eventually switched vehicles or never switched i mean that was like i didn't switch no vehicles okay why would i switch a vehicle but then so so someone else was with you in the car but why would i switch vehicles why would you get to switch vehicles like, because or so the impala you left the apartment in it, okay and then now you're here at the station 
but the Impala's not here. It's, 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 it's around. I'll say it that way. It's around. Okay. It's around. Around the block somewhere. It's, it's around. Okay. That helps me better understand. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I, 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 that's what the driving, you know, I, 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 and I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about free agent, right? Right, right. Yeah. But it's the point that, you know what I'm saying, me. I don't, you know, I don't want to get in trouble for something that's when you're trying to find free agent. I get right. that 100%. Um, and so, but you can't think of, I mean, you've checked a lot of areas, but, and you haven't been around I don't, that but, much. but, but, see, like, I think Bree and Dink said that they, they cousin, TT, if somebody lived in that area, somewhere around there. I don't remember T. No, their cousin or TT or somebody. I know that they said somebody lived around the area. I am not for sure who who it was. You know, so they don't live in the building complex, but around somewhere. I don't even I don't even know who it was. Mm-hmm. I don't even know who it was. Yes. <laughs> you see this? Uh, hang tight. Um, I'll talk to some other guys, see what they found out. They found out anything else, or like if they if they found like some video of her somewhere else, or you know what I mean. Right, right. So. Sorry, a little bit. Some of them are still printing. Of course, naturally we'd have a problem with printer at a time like this. Um, so. So we'll start near it. And uh, so this is the apartment complex, right? Uh, thank you, blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everybody who's here and engaging and everything. Thank you. Reason. And thank you to everybody who's sending um, blessings to the channel as well. Thank you. Twenty-seven forty-four. It's one of the ones up here. I believe it's that one. Terrible for me, yeah. Um, so I don't know if you want to trace, kind of like with the pen, and trace I where you went. Bro, I don't know exactly where I went. That's why I'm not. Did you stop at any places? No, I don't, I don't remember. Okay, okay. I didn't. Did you talk to anyone when you're out looking? No, I was just, just, just looking. You know what I'm saying? Just looking. I've been through the whole area, almost all of this area. Almost. Okay, so what ones have you not been to? I haven't went over there by Castlewood. I haven't went over there. Mid said hog head interrogation. I'm done. <laughs> Love it. Resume. And everybody listen to all the lies. He said he lied, lie, lie. But when you watch the trial, they pinged him everywhere he went and what he was doing. Mm-hmm. I don't understand, but he has some sort of delusion. A lot of these these criminals got this delusion. I'm gonna plead not guilty, but you know what? They can. They have the right to plead not guilty, and they're entitled to a lawyer, and the lawyer has to defend them. Of course, the lawyer's gonna try to give him a plea deal because all the stack of evidence. But see, this ham hog, hoghead, he figured he know everything. He can't tell him nothing. I ain't do it. I ain't do it. Typical sociopath. This man's a full-blown sociopath. Mm-hmm. These are my thoughts and opinions. Reason. Brian Sugar is in the building. I have no Western E mines over there. Well, no. So this is fifty thirty. Oh no. Nah, okay. This is I, about, thought, I, thought, I thought this was the whole. No. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so you, so you, you went through I all drove, these streets. I don't drove all through here, all around through there. I mean, it's. I don't hit Brady, Her, uh, Harrison, fucking. I mean, I just, you know, the farthest I went is all the way down, you know, just like well, all the way down where? Like all the way downtown. Just like, you know what I'm saying? You know, when you circle one area, you know what I'm saying? You got to just continue to go through every area. Mm-hmm. I've been everywhere, man. I'm not, I mean, I can't even, I'm not going to say where and what streets. Okay. I just know I've been all through here. And um, did, did you stop at any, did you go inside while you're looking? Did you go stop anywhere and talk to anyone and ask them if they've seen someone? You remember any places that you you did that with? No, I didn't, I didn't you didn't do that. I okay. Just moved around. Okay. So you were circling in your car the entire time. Moved, moved around. Okay. In the Impala, right? Yes. Okay. And um, when you got back the second time, when you saw uh, Dink on the couch, did uh, did Andrea then say anything 
did Andrea ask anything or say anything to you? I don't think she asked me. It's like, what's going on? Okay. That's all she said. And then what did you tell her? I didn't tell her nothing. I was just like, man, right now, I mean, right now, I'm frustrated. I'm looking. I should have said something to her, but I, I assumed that she knew some little dink being on the couch. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, right now, man, I don't, I don't even want to talk right now. You know what I'm saying? I really don't want to talk at all. That's basically what I kept telling her. Really telling her? Know. Yeah. Gotcha. So you, there's no... Yes. Like, I mean, I, I mean, I'm not gonna draw no map because I really don't know where I was going. I was just moving around, just going around. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not no no spot in particular. I, you know, what I'm saying I didn't go in no stores because <clears throat> when I was moving around after I talked to Aisha, and her mom them said they was gonna move around too. You know what I'm saying? So I, I assumed that if all of us was moving around, you know what I'm saying? Like even Andrea was moving around on feet. You know what, yeah. what I mean? So. I mean, there was no sense in me staying close to them. It's just like traveling, you know what I'm saying? The more grounds you can pick up. You know and then, I mean? I'm sorry, who, said, uh, who else was moving around looking? And, and Andrea? Andrea's around I, looking? No, walking around. Walking around. If you're anything like me, uh, like walking around the apartment I, complex or yes, walking yeah, like walk further? complexes. And, and then further, I don't know where else she walked to. She okay. just told me she was walking okay. around looking. Gotcha. Aisha mom was looking. Aisha auntie was looking. Aisha was looking. Aisha uncle, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people, bro. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So, um, and so was there any texts going around like about the situation or is this just the phone calls? Uh, I think there was like one or two texts. Why don't you text? If I'm not mistaken. Okay. And uh, so would you be fine if we downloaded the phone to have the call logs and the texts? Mm-hmm. For what reason? To, to cooperate everything here uh, about the call logs and the text. It helps it helps everyone out. Download my phone. To just to get the call logs to show that those calls were made at those certain times. I can show you my phone. Right? I can just show you my phone. I, I got you. You know what I'm saying? You want to see, I can just show you my phone. I mean, I can just open up my phone and let you go on my phone. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What's the password to your phone? Just give me my phone and I'll open it up for you. Okay. Well, you open up right, right, right Yeah, open it right here. Um, and uh, so... If you want to just take a, while I go get, grab your phone, um, if you want to just take a closer look, and if there's anything that's sticking out, be sure to mark it, okay? I mean, what is there to stick out? But like, for sure, for sure places that you went, for sure. He look a little stressed. You see how Ham Hawk was up there rubbing his head? He look a little stressed, uh-huh. See... Ham hawk, you have to understand these these detectives, right? And this one is very much on point. He might try to act a little dumb because they just trying to play to see if you know, you know. It's, they've been doing this for years. They're trained. They went to school for this. They train. They watch your body language, how you dress, how you carry yourself. They already pull up if you have a record. Everything is pulled up. So how do you think that you're gonna talk to this guy and you're gonna convince him that you didn't have nothing to do with it? And you're the last one with her. You're responsible. See, this is a typical sociopath. They always think that they smarter than everybody else. They can pull a wall over you. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Reason. Ham Hawk's thinking of a lie. What am I going to do? How am I supposed to get out of this situation? Mm-hmm. How am I supposed to get out of here? It's not happening. That's why they pulled up your phone and they see you was looking at those kitty pictures you're not supposed to be looking at. Mm-hmm. 
That's probably why he didn't want to give him that phone. They want to get a password because he was scared. You don't have to give him the phone. They just go and get a um a warrant. Is it a warrant? Yeah, they go and get a warrant. They're gonna get your phone. They're gonna get your phone. They're gonna get your computer. They're gonna get everything. You're stupid. Miss Toy says sociopaths like him never hesitate to exploit vulnerability in a woman like that girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Their weakness was his opportunity to do exactly what he done to Bree. So sad. You're right, Miss Toy. You're right. Can't argue with you on that one. Another thing, Ham Hawk, they watching you. They have you sitting there, they watching you, see if you're going to break out in the sweat, you're going to start pasting, or you're going to try to come up with something. Yeah, they watch you. That's why he walked out the room. You know what he was doing. They just sitting there, he's sipping on his coffee, the, the lead detective sipping on his coffee. They just watch and see what you're going to do. Stupid. Keeping it real, something that I learned from watching your show is that you can't see the bedroom from the living room. They made it seem like you couldn't, so DL absolutely saw what he saw, he said. Mm -hmm. What he saw. Mm -hmm. You see it, right? Keeping it real? You just you see it. It's a small place. You see everything. And you're going to tell me that the girlfriend didn't see her man lusting at this little girl? Get out of here. Miss Toy, you're right. When you're dealing with narcissists, sociopath, borderline personality, just hysteronics, all those, the whole cluster B, psychopaths, just let them keep talking if you got the patience. Let's let them talk. They're going to throw their own self under the bus. It never fails. They eventually throw their own self under the bus. Mm -hmm. If you can get through the word salad, good luck. <laughs> Look at him. What you said, nurse said, chocolate said, I wouldn't leave my cat or dog with him. <laughs> I don't blame you. Just look at him staring at the paper. You're not going to make anything change. <laughs> you look so stupid, you idiot.
think of any? Or mark any? No, no I ain't marking them, but I'm just looking at them. I'm looking at the whole thing. Why are you looking at me? Do my password. Well, that's that's what I asked. No, I, I, I said I will open it for you. Yeah, but I'm not. Ask no, I'm not going to give you my password. Okay. I will open it for you so you can look at my phone. But I'm not going to give you my. Phone. Did he say he told the detective, "I'll open, but I ain't going to give you my phone." <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> Ooh, they're going to have fun with you in the prison. Oh my God, they're going to have a good old time with you, Ham Hawk. Mm -hmm. And then you're just gonna lock it. Yes, but after you finish looking, yeah. I will let you look at me. I have no problem with you looking. Okay, that's something I want to try. Okay. My name is not even on my phone. You recently got this phone too, though, right? Yeah. Uh, no, I had this phone for a minute, but I think, well, just a new phone number. Yeah. No, this number. Because you said you didn't know it. That's why I was. I don't. I don't know my number. All I know is this seven two seven two six. Jenny, great question. I wonder what he told his lawyer why he had the little girl at three thirty in the morning. I would like to know what he said. You know, that's a great question because I was wondering too. What did he tell his attorney? What did he tell him? I'm very curious. I know the attorney's probably like, "Why did I get caught with this case?" Mm -mm -mm. Resume. Why you still watching? I'm not open it, bro. You know, not not if you're staring at me while I'm trying to get my number. I, I mean, what, what, I'm doing, no, what I'm doing is I'm making sure that you're not going in and deleting anything. That's what my concern. Why would I delete something? You never know, guys. Uh, trust me. No. It, happens. it happens. I mean, as soon as I open it, I'll give it to you. Sounds good. So you can look at it. Yep. Blessing said the fact that Ham Hawk had out of wedlock children with women, shacking up with different women, etc., shows how desperate women can really be for a pig. Hmm. Exactly. But see, the problem is you, it, it stems from their childhood. You know, their parents never told them you know, teach them to date smart, not thirsty, or they follow in their, their parents' footsteps. They see it in their homes and their environment, so they'll just turn around here and just date a loser too. Join the club. It's so sad. It's it's really pathetic. It really is. It really is. Resume. You don't want him to find those kitty pictures. That's why you panicking. That was from when I got, from when I got my kids to the conversation. To the conversation when they went to bed. Where was it? Good night, mom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good night, mom. Yeah. You know, good night, love you. Breathe. That's what she was. Well, good night, mom. Good night, mom. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's what Wait, what is good night, mom? Though. I don't. That's good night, mom. That's the way she said good night, mom. Too. Who says? Three. They, they, they didn't have a phone, so they was using my phone or they used the Andrew's phone to, to, to use whatever. But the phone number was to Lil Dink? No, that's Aisha's phone, but oh. it's my son, so I don't put her name in my phone. That's I, the way you contact I contact him. him. Okay, you know, that makes no, sense. I, I, contact I, 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 I got you. Right, let's see. So I was supposed to say it right here. But there wasn't anything about this stuff besides the... No, no. Well, go, go, click on, oh. on Lil Dink again and go down the most recent thing. Wait, where are you? Okay, and then... Yeah, remember when I told you she kept trying to call me and my phone was acting up? Yeah, yeah that's what, you know gotcha. what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, here, I just show you phones. Now let me get to the numbers. Uh, call log? Let me see. Okay, I'm going to close my phone. Then that would be the call log. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah.
that, that was gotcha. see, okay. Was, All right. I mean, I, I, like I said, I have no problem showing you my phone. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But the, I guess where's the issue of like, you just want to dictate of what we see or? No, I don't. I, no, I just like, you know what I'm saying? I, I look at it like, I don't have no problem opening my phone for you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I really don't. Okay. I, I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing to hide in my phone from you. Okay. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing at all. So that's the reason why I said I will open it for you. That's right. I just don't want nobody all in my phone. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it don't matter, but I just don't like people. Well, it does. It, I mean, it does matter. No, no, you missed what I'm saying. Okay, when I, when I say it, it don't matter. When I say that, I'm saying like, you know what I'm saying? If you're right here in my presence, you can do what the heck you want with my phone. Mm -hmm. Basically, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to know what you know with my phone. Okay. That's all. Gotcha. I mean, it, it ain't nothing that I'm hiding in my phone or anything like that. That is not. I would like, if you like, okay, let's connect it to something. Okay, I want to see what you're doing with my phone. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I mean, to be, able, personal. to be able to download, we, yeah, we need, we would need the passcode, but. Um, like I said, which, yeah, which is helps helps speed up any suspicion we would have. Of but I don't kids. understand how I got suspicious with my own kids, man. These are my kids. No, you know I what I'm saying? I mean, I I'm just saying it would clear any suspicion, right? Listen, I, I mean, I know you know your job. You yep. know what I'm saying? And I know what For you sure. have to do. I know what you have to do. You know what yep. I'm saying? And and, and 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 I and I don't have no no issues with that period. But these are my kids, bro. Mm -hmm. These are my kids. You know what I'm saying? These are mm -hmm. mine. I'm really like confused. Like, I wish I, was, I wish I was been standing in my same state of mind where I was saying no all the time. What do you, what do you mean by that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I used to, I like, basically, I blocked her where she couldn't even call me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's why no. That. Because me and her have bad communication sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because of the person who she was talking to. You know what I'm saying? And just caused a little kind. But now she's not talking to that person no more. So it opened up our communication again. You know what I mean? So. I mean, I just anyone you can think of that would would try to take for you? Why? For what reason? I don't know. I'm I'm asking I'm asking you. You know better than I would. Right? I really the only person would know better than me would be Aisha. Yeah, but you okay. can't think of anyone that would take her. I can't see no reason why. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Bree's a good kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's a good kid. You know what I'm saying? She's definitely a good kid. Okay. Definitely a good kid. Then uh, before uh, did you you might have mentioned I might have missed it uh, when you went Trying to Vince's, Reynolds, uh, Reynolds is after y'all already went home from Vince's and you went back and you didn't get an answer at the door uh, what was the reason that you went back there that's where I, that's where I'll be kicking it sometimes you know what I'm saying like just to, you know drink a beer okay. you know what I'm saying sit down drink a beer hang out hang out a little bit talk to you know the yin yang you know what I'm saying that's as far as I go okay for me uh, did, so did you call ahead of time no, I don't know sometimes I call. But 99% of the time, he don't answer his phone. Okay. So I don't call. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's why I just go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't call him. I just, just go. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like I said, my babies are good. You know what I'm saying? My son, too. You know what I'm saying? They listen to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All my kids listen to me. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have no problem with my kids. You know what I'm saying? At all. You know what I'm saying? No behavioral issues, something like that. The mom do. I don't have it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm they're defiant with? With mom, yeah. but not with me. Okay. Why? Probably because I'm more lenient. Okay. And I tend to give them what they want. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, if, if you want, the only way you can get something out of me is if you act good. Mm -hmm. Good grades, respectful, you know, doing the things you have to do. That's when you get stuff for me. Other than that, you don't get money from me. You know what I'm saying? Me and my kids know that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, this is crazy, man. Yeah. I mean, this is like, it, it, I mean, it's a, it, it, I'm more hurt for Aisha. Because, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, she got it. You know what I mean? And my baby mama, you know what I'm saying, like I said, I know she feels some type of way behind it. You know what I'm saying? But like I told her, you know what I'm saying, you know, she's like, hey, you should have more of a watch. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never had to watch my kids like that. You know what I'm saying? Never. Mm -hmm. Even when I used to keep her in Brie. Yeah. I mean, Brie ending. You know what I'm saying? I never have to. Because my kids, you know what I'm saying, we, we communicate. You know what I'm saying? So I really... You're breathing kind of heavy, is it? You just I smoke a lot. I smoke a lot. And then I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Thinking about my baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like it's, it's rough, bro. It's rough. You know, she ain't my biological, but she's still my baby. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is rough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Think about it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I try to not. What What, what do you think? I got I got asthma too, so yeah. Uh, what, what do you? Uh, what do you think happened? Big bro, what, I don't really know. I mean, I'm not really even trying to even put a, a thumb on it, a finger on it. I don't know. Yeah. 
You feel me? And I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say something that I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because our communication was good all day. With with free? With, no, with both. With both as in? Dick and free. Yeah. Both my kids been A1 all day. Okay. A1 all day, bro. Okay. All day, A1. Mm-hmm. And then I'm kind of like stopped up congested a little bit too, so. Yeah, gotcha. This is like. Well, I can assure you, there's a there's a bunch of people right now with the department going out there trying to do what we I can. I hope, pray to God that they find my baby. You know what I mean? Because everybody, pull out the violins. Pull out the violins. He's giving his um sociopathic um performance. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is, he's crying bacon grease. I know, like I said, I know I blame you because I should have more watch over. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I know my baby mama. You know what I'm saying? She is like furious at me. Like I never seen her this mad at me ever. Yeah. But she got reasons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like if I would have had custody of my kids and I leave them over there if something happened, whether they bust a nose or Get a scar or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do you concern about that? You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah, I'm not I'm not mad at Aisha. I'm just kind of salty that she won't really communicate with me. And you know what I'm saying? And that's and that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Because her mom, mom do even right now. You know what I'm saying? She, I was talking to Donnie on the phone. Yeah. Donnie, me and Donnie, me and Donnie, one He just said the mom still communicating from that's grandma, and I believe it. You remember when I showed the video where grandma was on the stand? That little smile she had and the smile he gave her back? Yeah, I believe they still in communication. This is this this whole thing is a hot mess. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to end soon. Hey, her mom. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Donita loves you. You know what I'm saying? And the whole family do. You know what I'm saying? So but I just I know what I used to want to, and it's just gonna take for her to. And you know some some things that could help with that, right? Uh, of her not being so mad at you. She is. is uh, no, let, hear is. me out here for a sec. To help ease some of that, or or lessen it, or for us to be able to go input right. more to her is is that your cooperation goes a long way with us, and also is not gonna make her so mad at you, right? So like the if she finds out that you know the whole pass going phone it is. Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end now. That was the interrogation. And you see his performance. All right. True ham hock. Hmm. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. Thank you for engaging. Oh, this was a long one. But, you know, let me show the interrogation because y'all probably didn't see the interrogation. And if you want to check out the past commentary, what I did with the mother and the grandmother, feel free to look at that one. And when his son, DL, was on the stand, too, feel free to check it out, too. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, everybody had themselves a blessed and a safe night. And hold a second. Justice for Brie. Such a beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. This is so sad. So sad. And this happens so often to so many children. So many children. So many. But you're safe. You're with your father right now. He's taking good care of you. No harm will come to you. No more. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, remember, like I said, date smart not thirsty. Stay away. Ladies, stay away from dudes like this. They don't have nothing to offer you. Nothing. Nothing at all. All right. And men, stay away from these dust at these ratchet, loud, loud women. They ain't going to do nothing. They'll sit right here and lie and get you locked up saying, he hit me. He hit me. And you didn't even touch her. You was just being a gentleman. But see, she's so ratchet, she's not used to having good men. So that's why she's going to act the way she do. Mm -hmm. If you need to reach out to me, look in the description. You'll find my email. We'll go from there. Have a blessed night.